Hello everyone, sorry for the delay, just had a few technical issues. We are 3.2 overs in, as you can see on the scorecard, Wimbledon solid start so far, 18 for naught. Uh, Ryan Patel, couple of boundaries to start, moves to 13, and I'm joined by James Duplessis. Yeah, very good start for Wimbledon. Well, well, got Ryan Patel came out firing in the first couple of overs and had some beautiful on drives, pull shots, you know, good start for Wimbledon, but... You know, don't want to lose a wicket early on here, and then they can really get on top. Ashton won the toss and chose to bowl. Quite a green wicket today, going to get very hot in the afternoon. I think 21 degrees, bright sunshine. Should be a good game of cricket. Okay, back to wide-ish, mid-off, into the keeper. Dom Sibley standing at first slip. <laughs> just, just all I mentioned there. Hunt comes in. Good leave there from Collington. This remains on three here. Solid, solidly quick start. Just to remind, they can face 64 overs in this declaration game if they bat it out. Another good leave. Found a bit of bounce there. Yeah, the wicket wicket looks good, I think. It'll be a good test between bat and ball. You know, there's a lot, of, a lot in it for the bowlers, but it's pretty firm and it comes on pretty well most of the time, so a lot of runs to be scored. Hunt found an initial bit of bounce early on, hitting the deck hard and quick. Bold. You don't want to bowl short to Ryan Patel when he's on strike, so he'll, he'll pull it away. That's a bit fillant. Very Runs a very quick there. single to mid off or direct hit. Umpire says no. Good fielding, good running, good cricket. And they moved to 19. Very start, solid start for Wimbledon. Run rate of 5.4 early on. A couple balls left of this over from Hunt. As he comes in, three slips and a short backward point. Goes in fuller there. Just flicked off the pads for a nice single from Patel. Very comfortable. Very comfortable. Moves to 14. End of the over there. Wimbledon, 20 for naught after five. After four, sorry. Patel on 14, Coddington four. No scares so far. A couple of nice leaves. Crossed that off stump. Yeah, Hector, as you, can, if you, as you look at the uh, Ashstead team, you can see a, a couple of seasoned internationals and Dom Sibley and Kieran Powell. So I'm assuming they're going to come out and hope to score a lot of runs yeah, later on get, today. Get so what, what would you reckon is a par score for Wimbledon on this pitch and given the opposition to give him a good chance of bowling him up? <laughs> Locked well there from Patel. Um, it's, it's a good day. It's a good day for the wicket, as we said, is a bit green. If they can get the ball to move a bit early on, you could see a couple wickets. Um, I'd say Wimbledon should be looking at two, 250, 260. I'd give them a good chance. Could be a lot more though. Again, the, the draw is very much in play here. Oh, oh, and oh put down. Patel well, swipes it down. I would have said more, more in the 350 area would really? put him in a very. Well, if you look at the wicket, I mean, it's been a very quick start from the Wimbledon batsman here, and you know they've got a lot of wickets, a lot of good batsmen. So yeah, Patel, could be a lot of runs. First sign of fear there. Just swiped it just wide of the off stump. 
Fall short of Dom Sibley at first slip. Only two slips in for Patel. Now. Here he comes. Oh, and that That's shorter. That's beautiful. Pulled away. Right. That'll be four to deep backwards right. square. Ryan Patel moves to 18. It's a lovely shot from Patel, just rock back, just short of a length, as we said, you don't want to bowl short to Patel to there. And he comes again, it's a look to go fuller here, and again oh, short, oh, oh, oh fielding. lovely fielding there at not well, sure. Well, not sure if that cover. was in the in the in the view, but that was ex excellent fielding at extra cover. Just diving to well, the left, stopped it from going for four. Lovely back foot punt from Patel, looking to be aggressive early on. Actually, he's got a lot of overs to settle in here. Oh, that's a bit full of Yorker length. Flick down to ooh, Ooh. good stop there, pal. Has a shy at the stumps. A run three for one. Patel moves to 19. Very good start here. Coddington on strike. He's been slightly deprived of the strike early on. Just the two slips, wide-ish, backward point, cover in. Square leg in. No one out on the boundary. And... Yeah, very conventional field for the for these opening bowlers. Just fine leg, couple slips, and then just a nice ring field. So sits back and defends yeah. for the last ball of the over. Six overs through Wimbledon, 25 for none. And Patel. Patel or moves to 19. Hunt will continue bowling, goes into his fourth over, he's had a solid start so far. Very quick, hits it on the length, the left, left armour to left armour, three slips in now as in he comes. Shorter just punch back to extra cover from Patel, no run. I would say I think Hunt's bowling a little bit too short, you know, given Ryan Patel's excellent uh, he likes ability to play foot. on the back foot. I think he should be pitching it up and making him play more. I mean, he's just, so Ryan Patel could leave all of these. I mean, obviously he's choosing not to, but... Yeah, you want to go full early on, especially with the green green wicket. It's going to harden up as we go on. This is the darn to go full and get a bit of seam. And again, short flicked away. I think Finally. early wickets is what you need here. I think once the batsman gets in, I think it's going to be hard to get him out. As you can see from Ryan Patel, he's had a very quick start, so I think he's going to be looking and thinking he can go big. Fine, they comes round just the one. They'll jog through for one. Coddington on strike on full runs. Hunt will be bowling over the wicket to him. Three slips, pretty similar field. And he comes here from the pavilion end. It's a lovely little punch through the cover region, racing to the boundary. Good start from the field, they'll pick up three. Very good shot from Collington. We're putting 29 for Nort now. Patel 20, Collington 7. Yeah, a couple of technical issues with the scoreboard, so we'll keep you posted. Keep turning the score every, every couple of overs or so. But yeah, it's been a very positive start from Wimbledon. Oh, that's a beautiful ball there. Just still a fraction short. Patel tried to punch that through the cover region. Just misses. Goes through to the keeper from there, Ron.
wrapped on the pad, so a bit too high, maybe sliding. Half-hearted appeal from Ashley. Taking a slip out now, moved him just a touch wider. Third, sort of gone to fourth. Gap through third slip here. Gone. That's the shorter ball, as opposed to what we said. Shorter Patel tries to flick it. It was wide of off stump. Tries to flick it. I think just too aggressive from Patel. He didn't. There was no need to play that. It was a great start from from him and Wimbledon. But I know. quick far twenty for him and tries to slash at that one. As you said, yeah, he'll, he'll be disappointed, but he, he looked very good in the, in the early stages of this innings. Had time. He's just got to go early on. It's the first wicket, Wimbledon. 29 for one after seven overs, that's the end of the over. Hunt gets his wicket. In comes the skipper, Jack Boyle. Bit of bounce on this wicket is what we're hearing. Jack Boyle, the skipper overseas, comes into bat. Wearing that green helmet. He'll look to start start playing, play himself in, got time. So just to confirm, Ryan Patel is out. The scoreboard you can see on the live stream is wrong. Uh, he got a, a brisk 20, but we would have found ourselves 29 for one with uh, Ben Coddington and Jack Boyle in. Jack Boyle being the overseas player from New Zealand. Beautiful shot there to get off the mark. Straight down the ground. Is that updated? Is that updated? No, it's still Because on mine it says. 18 and out. Oh, so why? 18. Mine's updated. And that's updated, and Sue's updated. I might check with John when he comes back, all right? Great shot over mid wicket there, just raced away to the boundary. Very easy when bowling that short, just to put it away, because it's a very true wicket, you can trust the bounce and you capitalise there expertly.
things in my account. Yeah, take it out for now.
We're back now should be all good. Wimbledon 41 for one. Uh, Ravintham, he's bowling well here into a second over, only gone for two runs so far as Coddington pats that back to short mid wicket. Um, Wimbledon 41 for one off the first into the 12th over now. Ryan Patel gone for 20, looked very comfortable, loving the short ball. Swiped a one on the offside and was a little bit short and found himself caught. Keeper, in takes, the slips. keeper takes the wicket. Anyway, uh, joined by James DPC. James, what do you read of the start so far? Well, I think it's been a fairly even start. I think Wimbledon definitely took advantage of the first six or seven overs, but Ashstead have certainly brought it back, especially with Aravindman coming into the attack. He's been incredibly economical in his first two overs, so I'm sure he'll looking to be continued. Very continuing much so. that streak. At the pavilion end, Hunt bowling very well. Tool man, he's hitting the deck hard and he's bowling in quickly. Still there, old play from Coddington, back down to mid off. Coddington, he's taking his time settling with this declaration game. He's looking very, very solid out there. Joined by the skipper Boyle, one off ten, leaving very well, it has to be said. On quite a green wicket, James and I were out there this morning um, looking at the wicket. Quite green, he's definitely going to crack up. Later on this afternoon, we're in for a hot day and for a sunny day. Um, and Hunt will keep on bowling. Hunt into his seventh over. It's been a good spell from Hunt so far. I'm sure you would have preferred to maybe get an extra one or two wickets, but you know, I don't think you can argue with getting out Ryan Patel. Anyway, here he comes in for the start of his seventh over. Bowling around the wicket to Boyle. Shorter ball. Oh, pulled, pulled away. Pulled away. Great shot. It's racing through mid wicket yeah. region. He won't make it to the boundary today. Only pick up two there. Good shot for two runs into the keeper. Three slips in now. Dom Sibley standing at first slip. Kieran Powell on the ball at mid on. It's going to be very interesting to see how they go today. Uh, probably both of them opening up for Ashton. It's going to be a very good battle out there. Going yeah, for a tight game. Wimbledon 43 for one after 12. Hunt in and oh. shorter. Oh, oh, unbelievable fielding at, at point there, just diving to the right. It was smacked hard into the ground by by uh, Jake Boyle. And unfortunately, didn't, didn't quite go for fours, it was stopped. Middled, Hunt here, he is bowling short, tall man. Might look to pitch it up now. It's going to be at mid-off. So he stands at the top of his mark here. Just the three slips, backward point. Fine leg out, mid wicket, mid on, mid off. Very nice field to start. Here comes here. Oh! Slightly slow with that, but no run. This Wimbledon is back up. It's a mid in by Stool, Juice, Cooper.
People will be totally okay with the fact that this is, you know, you know. And you can explain. So how yeah. exciting yeah. to have it live and you know, yeah. in the moment. <laughs> but I think the delay is working nicely. And sort of Thank you. All right. See you later. Yeah, yeah, again. Forty-six for two here. Ball on five. Lloyd off the mark on his first ball with a flick down to fine leg. Moves to one off one. Yeah, we've just seen uh, the opener Ben Coddington get out. LBW, excellent ball. And I, personally, I thought it could have been going a little bit high, but umpire was gave it. So yeah. it was a, it was a good start from Wimbledon, but they've lost a couple of wickets in the part over. So they'll be looking to build upon this partnership they've just done. Yep. One more. Tom comes over now, just short of padded back down by Bob. No run. 46 for two. And it's very much in the balance so far. As I say, only 14 overs in. Still a lot of cricket to be played. 52 overs left of this innings. If, if, if they want it, they could decide to declare. Just the two slips in. Gives room for a short extra cover. Add it back down to that good point. Lovely shot from ball. Slash through the covers. I'll only pick up two though. Oh, good seems. End of the over there. And looks like. Yeah, Lloyd <laughs> needing new bat, bat change there. A couple of options. Immediately goes for the red handle. Seems to have. Broken his bat, maybe he doesn't like the feel. Anyway, change of bat for him. Hunt will keep on going. He's gone very well. Seven overs, 22 runs for two wickets for him today. Looking very good, very quick. Trying to unsettle, unsettle the bowler, uh, the batsman. A couple of shorter balls in there. Three slips again. Second slip gone wider to third. Last, but we wanted to go push on. Oh, good leave there from Ball. James was just saying Ball just had to change his bat. Not too sure that's what kind of broken. Affirmative drive down to mid-off from Lloyd for no run. Remains on one. Other oh, news, England versus Ireland. Just the one wicket fall in today. Ireland 138 for four. Jack Leach with the wicket of Lorcan Tucker. Fold through the gate. If anyone wants to know that. <laughs> Let's focus on this game, Hector. Come on. It's a lovely day for it. Sun's out. People netting left, right and centre. Players coming in for their afternoon games as well. Around the boundary, dotted around the boundaries, oh. in comes, and that's nipped away. Yeah, Hunt's certainly grown into his uh, into this innings. I think the, the first couple of overs, I think he was a little bit loose, but now he's very consistent. Starting good pace, good bounce, and he's looking very dangerous at the moment. Very good from Hunt. Yeah, lovely day for you. you got tennis players to our left, cricket players in the nets to our right. Hunt. Oh, slower delivery there, just flashes past the off stump. Good lead from Lloyd for no run. And looks like Lloyd just trying to, 
trying to create a sense of comfortability now. Just trying to knuckle down. Yeah, when would I need a couple batsmen just to stay in and fight off these opening bowlers? Because I Aravindan's bowling very consistently, and now now Hunt found his He's got, got to find a way yeah. to take the sting out of these these players. Maybe get the spinner on go. Yeah, 100%. The pitch actually today, and a couple of footholds for. Yep. Yeah. Been up and down. Been up and down. Do we go on for a cheeky interview? Come on, later. Bring, bring, yeah, bring, bring in the... To the scuff. I might get Sydney Live commentary. Live interview. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Call them over. Well, well, not, not, pressure, not yet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe a lunchtime uh, on the outfield. Yeah, well, no. Maybe turn that off. Is it constantly on? Yeah, yeah but... Yeah. <laughs> You've got to lean in to get picked up. Oh, hey, Lloydy. <laughs> Leave that. End of the over. 50. 50 comes up. And the over 50 for two. And in the balance here, I would say Ash did have the momentum on their side, that's for sure. But as I was saying, Lloyd and Ball here just looking to daily the ship. Well left there from the skipper. <coughs> Go through the keeper, just slightly wide of the off stump there. Aravind then just miss, missing his line of touch. I'm shorter, pulled away. Lovely, lovely pull shot. Rocks onto the back foot from Boyle, and that'll be his first boundary of the day. Yeah, he did make that look figures. incredibly easy. Just calm, casual, slow, and put away for four. Great shot. And these are the things that Wimbledon batsmen have to do. They just have to see see through these good balls, these good bowlers, and they'll bowl a few bad balls, and the ball will get a bit old. So that was a bad ball away. There'll be, there'll be plenty of chances to cash in. Goes back to that cliche. Got to dig in and punish the bad balls. In comes Aravinthan. And Fuller, but still punched through. And cover comes round to collect. On run. Ball moves to 12. Taking the middle stump guard here. And three or seven at the moment, facing up. And good leave. And so it looks like Hunt is going to carry on at the pavilion end. For another over. Don't want to tire him out too quickly. That's a full, that's a very good ball. Got a bit of nip. Bit of nip, bit of bounce there. Promising size. Yeah, so that concludes the uh, first section of the day and we head into drinks after 16 overs. Wimbledon 55 for two. Uh, in with Jack Boyle and Tim or Lloyd. Boyle on 12 off 22 and Lloyd on three off 10.
Sorry, where, where is the dance floor again? Session here, it's been an attribute. This is Change of bowling here, on comes the spinner, Holmes, just the one slip in now, Dom Sibley at slip, first ball races it in, we can get the field, deep cover, cover out and deep mid wicket as well, other than that just the one slip, left, right arm over, left arm, round. Just trying to work out what he's bowling here, he's got a it's pretty strange action, it looks like he's Hand comes I'm thinking top. wrist spin. I think it's top spin. Bit of top spin. <laughs> top spin. <laughs> He's really like bowling England does. Spoil it. Now you deep extra for a single. He moves to 13 off 24. Boyd on strike kit. Looking hopefully pretty settled. That's a oh, fuller ball. ball. Padded down. Scampered a single to point. Mm. And he moves to four. Score moves to 56 for two. Yeah, so the field set there is a, a deep, like a point slash cover point. And then they've got a catcher and silly mid off. And they've got a regulation mid on and mid off. And they've got, oh, you can see, Dom Sibley at slip. That's surely got to be a bit of a hierarchy that he just well, sits and slip the whole time. I would think so. I think Kieran Powell can, can put himself up there, to be honest. But. Yeah, he had quite the career himself with the Windies. 50 test matches, I believe. And patted back from Boyle. Remains on 13. Keeper not wearing a helmet today. That is bold. So very That's bold. Oh. Keeper Paul Harrison without a helmet. Hope to be batting eight for Ashton later on this afternoon, this evening maybe. A long day of cricket and then short. Sister down about Harvind then will continue. Bowl well so far. Four overs, one made and eleven runs, economy of two point eight. Unlucky not to get a wicket, it has to be said. He's probably been the most tempting bowler out there. Yeah, he's been incredibly consistent ever ever since he came on, and I'm sure he'll do the same this over. Good line in there, again. Yeah, that's what he's been doing, just picking the spot, not giving anything away. I think I've only seen one loose ball, and it was expertly put away, put away by Boyle. So that'll teach him to keep it tight. 
Very solid there from Lloyd. Looks like he's enjoying this wicket today. Seeing comes over Linton. Slightly full and wider. And Lloyd lets it through, goes through to the keeper. Good take. Oh, 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 do you want to come on for an <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Great shot. And that, ooh, I believe that's of just four runs. Nearly. Second nearly. Four? That's the of the boundary there. And here's the replay. Come First up. sign of aggression we've seen all day from him. Moved to wait. And yeah, absolutely whacked. Very, very close to six. I'd like to see a couple maximums later on today. And I believe we will. Well, with the five power and wickets in hand. You, you would think they're coming. Get power on. Power can hit a long ball. A couple of crowd catches. So then what can he do to reply here? Steaming in and just block back. Bit of respect. Annoyed there. Doesn't want to go too aggressive. Doesn't want to throw the wicket away. Fine leg, the only man out. It could be tempting to put a deep backward square in. He's going to bowl short now. Good cricket. Nice and full. Solid shot from Lloyd, looking very imposing so far. Going at strike rate of 50. A short extra in now. Cover moves into short extra as he collects. Top ball. End of the over there, 61 for two after 18. Good reply from Lloyd and Boyle. Smashed out to deep cover there from Boyle. Run the first hard, but no chance of a two there. Hit very hard. To 62. Lloyd, eight of 17. Oh! Well, great ball. I thought that was an edge there, to be honest. Play and miss there from Lloyd. Could be a good decision to move Holmes on. As we said, a couple of footholds out there for him to exploit. Here he comes, just short and looks like Lloyd didn't exactly know how to play him. Interesting. That's the filler oh. ball. Another good ball. It looks like Holmes is causing some problems with these batsmen, but you know that there is there is a lot of gaps out there. So hopefully the, the Wimbledon batsmen will be able to, to exploit them soon, given a bad ball that's bowled. Just shorter there. Deep cover. James, you think it would be worth Ashton moving deep cover in, maybe tempting them to play it up and over? Pretty comfortable uh, singles here at the moment for Wimbledon. Personally I don't. I think I think there's no there's no there's no need to give Wimbledon the chance to properly release the pressure because if they hit a gap it's gonna race away down the hill. So I think just leaving deep cover out is pretty small. Just let them rotate the strike but don't give any away any easy boundaries. 
Uh, Rintham will keep on going into his sixth over now, going at three and over. Like he said, deserves a wicket here. Keep him bowling nicely. That's a lovely ball. Player miss from Lloyd. Uh, Rintham tempting that edge. Just the two slips in. A loose shot from Lloyd and he's just completely given his wicket away. I mean, you could see the frustration as Aravinthan was bowling incredibly consistently, but he's going he's gonna to have to depart. Uh, a quiet 9 or 26, real shame. You would not, I'm not going to want to see that back because that was a loose shot. However, he played well for his, for his 9, but he's going to have to leave in first. 20th over here. Again, so not to worry anyway. Uh, that last ball was just uh, playing a miss from Scott. Just nipped away, I think, from Aravinthan and went straight back to the keeper. So end of the over. After, the t after 20 overs, Wimbledon are 65 for three. A few cracks starting to show. A big partnership would be very helpful. Nice punch out to the deep extra cover. Yeah, so as Hector and I were saying, I, I think it's it's good that they're leaving the extra cover out there, not giving the not giving the batsman the chance to release the pressure with a big to the boundary down the hill. There. End of the 21st over there, and a couple of loose balls towards the end of it uh, by Tomes. But as I said, leaving the deep extra cover there means there's only a, ever a risk of, a, of it being a single, no risk of a boundary.
Oh, excellent cut. Straight through the gap. Oh, there's only going to be a two, maybe three. Just going to settle for the two there. Great shot. Half an hour till lunch, these two will hopefully just stick it out. Build a punch. Oh. Excellent and delivery from Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies. And that, is, that is very disappointing. And Scott has to go. Quick six off eight. And Wimbledon really need some, some players to stick in here, otherwise they could find themselves in trouble. 71 for four. I was actually just about to say, it looks like Aravintham showing some fatigue and <laughs> bowl, bowling a few loose balls, but he's just replied with an excellent delivery and got, got another wicket. Deserved a couple. Yeah, he bowled very well. Seven, 6.5 overs, two wickets, 19 runs. Skipper is about to be joined by Billy Silt. Hopefully. I'm, 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 I'm just not going to say anything, to be honest. I'm just, <laughs> just going to leave. Yeah, after that, Hector, I'll be like, yeah, I don't know. Seventy-one for four, going at just over three. Time have... isn't a problem here. Just need, just need a, a decent-sized partnership to really get the one on his tip. On. Do have forty-four overs left. Starting to show a few cracks though. So in comes Billy Saul. His first ball, Arrington running in. Just a single to start it off. Oh, maybe overthrows. No, good, good backing up there. Good backing up. Solid from Sue. Maybe run Holmes. It's been looking decent. Been looking good. Guess he'll bowl through till lunch. Further there, block down to short extra. And so, very solid. Good movement there from Saul, but it just looks he's trying to looks like he's trying to force it a little bit too much. There's, there's no rush. Just see yourself in. I say from Holmes, maiden over. 72 for four after 23. And uh, just going at the two, two runs and over. Copture will be successful. However, it remains at around 90 for four, then the game is fairly in the balance. A lot of time. There certainly is a lot of time. Hmm. Boyle faces up, they're going to, I think then he's going to have another. He's been bowling well. Seven overs, one maiden, 20 runs with two wickets. Going at just under three. It's a lovely leave there. Yeah, so it looks like Aravinthan is going to have a couple more.
Plenty of batting to come. Still two slips in here for Aventon. No one out. A lot of pace off with a lot of love. Isn't that deep? Yeah, you can see it's up there. Looking solid as ball. The overseas. Reminder, Jews, Cooper, Twine, Lamb and Pike still to come for Wimbledon. Oh, Avent then just chucks it slower and straighter, attacking the stump, solid from Boyle. His long run up, in he comes. Oh, oh, great shot! Very great good shot. shot from Boyle. Just squeezed past extra cover there, although it's not going to quite reach the boundary. It's a long way up the hill. Just going to settle for two. That is a big arm. Looking to release the pressure. A bit of a slope here. Won't help him on that side. So it'll be slightly overcast at the moment. It's going against the forecast, and that's going to brighten up. A bit of cloud cover here. I wouldn't say it's cold, but a bit of movement for Aventon. Shorter, looking to nab a single, but it can be a mix up. No run. End of the over. And Holmes will keep on going. James, do you think the declaration could be in play for Wimbledon? If they get a partnership here, kick out. Well, it's looking fairly unlikely at the moment. I, th I think they just need, they don't need to start worrying about a total. They just need to start thinking about how these two can just stick in, maybe just get through till lunch. That's a filler ball. Oh, good drive, good stop at short extra there. Yeah, nearly a very good shot. But yeah, these two just need to stick in. And they, they, need, they just need a partnership. Otherwise, it could be a very easy chase for Ashtead. Shorter there, goes back on the back foot. Straight to the other. It's been some excellent fielding positions today on display. Not many have been many have been able to get through the ring actually. That builds up a bit of frustration you're sensing. Release your coming. Deep backward square's gone out. Cover as we say, covers now come in. Forcing him, forcing so having to go over if he wants to find that boundary. Only man out, as we just said, backward square. Very deep on the boundary. Oh, patted down for no run. Excellent areas from Holmes at the moment. Economy of 1.7 so far. He's into his, well into his fifth over. Only gone for eight runs. It's been an incredible spell at the moment. Just wanting a, maybe a couple wickets. Tempting. Tempting about. Maybe a couple of mind games coming into play, Hector. What do you think? <laughs> Maybe, James. Probably. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Very offside dominant field here. Only a couple out on the leg side. Got short extra, mid on, cover, backward point. Actually, no point and a backward point. Actually. Clearly just, a plan just to chuck it out wide, drift it up, chuck it outside off, see if it can get in play. Just wants to be careful not to bowl it just a tad full because then it's not looking like hitting a shot for a for Sewell to just to get it over the fielders and race away for four or maybe even six. Oh, and that, that's, that's the flasher. Once Side again, straight to the fielder there. So and another, the another maiden. A couple maidens on the bounce here for Holmes. Looking very solid. I wonder what Geddes is going to say here. I wonder what ruling he's going to go for. Change of bowling. Looks like... Yeah, so as you can see there, a couple stars for Wimbledon, but no real, no one's really pushed on. But Hunt is coming back on, different end this time, into the slope. He is. Behind. This. 
This will be an interesting period in a very important Wimbledon here. They just needle it around. These two can be in at lunch. That would be very nice. 25 minutes in. Hunt back on to bowl. He's going to get a lot of bounce. This will be very interesting to see what he goes for. T slipped in. High leg. Shorter straight away. behind cover point, and that is gonna get to the boundary. That's Great cool. shot there from Boyle. Oh, short again. Rocks onto the back, tries to flick that down the fine leg. It's onto his pad, no run. Four flips up. The other end, I just think he does. Oh, I don't think there's any harm in just being home to the other side and then bringing Hunt back on this end because he was getting a lot of movement, just nipping away a couple edges here and there. What's duck it this grassy wicket? I don't know if you can pick it up in the live stream, it is quite great. It's a good from Boyle out to a wide-ish, wide forward point. No ball. Towards the umpire. Very, very dominant shot straight back to mid on. Are we playing free hits? Uh, I don't. I don't think so, James. Yeah. In the declaration game, that would surprise me. And <laughs> shorter, and that is up. That's high. That is very high. What I don't think he's going to make it. Oh, she'll come. Cool. Cool there. This is turning out to be a very good over. Nine from it. Half oh, fair over. See, this is the problem, James. It's going to be good. Yeah. Especially yeah. with the slope down. <coughs> ball shot. Picks up a quick. Saul and Boyle both have the ability to punish the short ball, so. Ball moved to 26. Very good over for Wimbledon there. They moved to 83. Run rate of 3.2. Holmes will carry on into a sixth over here, just flights that up full, punch back to mid off by Silt. That's a full delivery, that's a very nice delivery. Looked like a release shot was coming there, but he changed his mind very quickly. Soft hands, played it back down <coughs> to the keeper. <laughs> he charges down the wicket there. Flicks the wrist for no run. Good shot for no run. Straight to Kieran Powell. I wouldn't take on his arm, James. <laughs> I wouldn't take on his arm. He is very big, isn't he? He's a big, big boy. Strong boy. Here he comes. The fly team just rocks back onto the back foot, finds oh, the gap there, and that'll be four. That's the shot we're waiting for, and he moves to five there. That's, that's an excellent shot. shot. Really picked out the gap. There's a lot of fielders in, in the yeah. point, cover point area. You've got Hunt at point. He's a very tall guy. Even he can get down to it. <laughs> very well steered from Silk. He moves to five. to 87. A couple was left of this over. Touch flatter there. Good response from Holmes. Just done. Great. Great shot. Holmes is bowling very well for his field at the moment. As we say though, one, two, three, four, five. About six people in the outside, seven. And he's just tracking it. On the stumps or outside up every time, making it tough for them to find that leg side region. 39 overs remaining for this innings, or possible 39 overs. 
18 minutes till lunch. And we'll continue. Well, we're here 26 off 45. Adjusting, adjusting the pads. Hunt back on after a fairly expensive over last over he got hit. Bit around the park, but he's tightened up his line here. Just a tiny bit uncomfortable. Three ball and two nibbles in the space of six. Well, another no ball, and this time could pick up a couple. Yeah, and um, Boyle will scamper back for a couple. Very nice running there. Just glance that through that backward point slip region. Down to third man, he'll take two. No third man out. James, as we were discussing, they've moved square leg out deep, so that will probably reduce the chance of an aerial pull shot. Yeah, I think that was probably the right call, because, uh, you know, it seemed like some some loose balls were coming from Hunt, and if he put, puts one short and a bit too straight, then it could easily go for six. But with the, with the man out there, I think he'll probably refrain from giving it a big hoik and just not pat it down like just he did just there. Sure to just flit down to find leg for a single. He moves to 29. 48, go 60. Beat the first. Oh, and that oh, is... That's it. high, that's high. Good shout, though. Just that touch Villa from Hunt. That, that is where he should be bowling. Half-hearted appeal, though. I don't think anyone ever really thought that was out, but <laughs> show, shows good intent from the bowler just to put pressure on the batsman. Nice from him. So how, how does that affect the batsman mentally when, <laughs> when, you, hear the, when you hear the players go up? Couldn't possibly say, James. <laughs> Couldn't possibly say. Yeah, it just goes straight onto your stumps, doesn't it, Hector? OK. <laughs> Here, shorter, no ball again. That's the third no ball this over, fourth in the last two overs. This over's gone no ball, no ball, two, one dot, no ball. <coughs> Hunt seems to be a tiny bit uncomfortable here. I mean, he doesn't seem to think that he is bowling no balls there. You can just see him questioning the umpire on how far over he was. Interesting. Square legs come in now. He is going to try and go a bit further, but if he misses that length, I'm sure Sewell will aim to pick him up. And that's Phil, and that's very well played. Very solid. Good cricket. Uh, that is the length he should be looking for at the moment. Cool guy. It's a lot of battle as it is. Just track it out a bit further. Halfway through the over here, Hunt in to his tenth. Shorter, just padded down to the short extra. Yeah, you, you feel it was an interesting call to change Hunt, and he, he did look very good in the pavilion end. There's just some, some very good ends at lunch break, have a nice rest, get back out there. Now the sun's coming back out again, getting slightly hotter. That's aggressively short into, into the grill. Played back down to mid on. Ninety-three for four here, last ball of the over. It's been a long over. Fourteen minutes till lunch. <laughs> Ooh, a shame. Yeah, again, far too high, far too high. That's the problem, it's going to be tough to get now, be. Worth an appeal, though. He gets. Might as well go up. End of the over there, good over, another good over for Wimbledon. As they... You can see there, that was a very ferocious start from Ryan Patel. Yeah, it seemed Patel's to drop off a lot. Started swinging to that short ball. Was his end.
So keep on going. Cover's gone out deep, deep backwards going. There's quite a lot to get down to that leg side boundary. Very offside again. First ball flick down. Question in the single ball. Holmes has looked very good. And that's for that's a very nice shot, but for no run. James, how do you read the game at the moment? What are your thoughts? Well, I'd still say, I think Ashdale are still in the driving seat. Uh, you know, got them four down for... Touch shorter, uh, well played, but well picked up. Yeah, good fielding from him. Yes, I think Ashdale's still very much in the driving seat as they've got them four down before lunch, but if, if these two can hold out to lunch and kick on, then I don't know, things could change pretty quickly. Fill that. Comfortably, no hope of a two there. That's moves into the thirties. Not quite, not quite. Oh no, <laughs> yes, yes. Into the thirties here. Got that shorter. Sort of rocks onto the back foot. Lays that down. No run. Very solid there from Sewell. Happy to block. End of the over, another good over. Just a one from it. Seven overs for Holmes. 13 runs, two maidens. Run rate just under two in the ones. Very good. Yeah, Holmes is bowling terrifically well. Not giving much away. I think he's been hit for me one boundary mat. Manhattan here. And, oh, I believe. Um, another bit of spin. From two hands, could be wild. Four for the end. Albert Tia. Short and smashed away for four. Dominant shot from ball there, moves to 34. Just, just takes the pressure off a little bit. Stumping attempt there. Again, and it's left it. And padded down. It's an interesting angle. Into maybe just maybe two overs after this one. I'm going to try to rush through them, I assume. Sure, I want to capitalise on this morning session. Another wicket would put them in a good place, and that's a nice, Ooh. nice run. Put the pressure on. So we'll face up. And that brings the 100 up. Yeah, it's been a handy partnership there. Still came in a tough position, and he's, he's definitely taking his time here. He has time. He said he has time. 36 overs left, nearly reaching the halfway point of their innings. Boyle looking nice. Holmes will carry on here. Spin twins tying up both ends. Full driven well. Oh, scamper a single. Mid off had to come round. So moves to seven. Short extra just couldn't get round in time. So mid off had to cover. Solid defence. Fuller there. Ball looked to be a touch aggressive, but back from bowling, no run. 
seems like they might go bet on the attack here, James. Again. <coughs> Here looking solid, just the one from this over as if he comes in. Release is a bit shorter than slashed away. End of the over. Should get a couple more, maybe a couple of the push. Definitely this one over here from Holmes. Brothers tying up the ends. One before lunch. Tim comes and ooh. looking for the single there. No need to risk it. Oh. Nice shot. Good, yeah, good decision from um, Ashton putting on the swin, spin twins before lunch. I, 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 they generally might be twins. <laughs> they might be, yeah, we don't know. I think it could be brothers. I hope they're brothers, otherwise. <laughs> yeah. They do look pretty similar. Ooh. Strange one to go back to, though. To pull, kick it a couple it's there. Racing away, not going to go for just oh, ooh, just the one. looking for the two. Good fielding. Sent back. Good fielding. Um. End of the over there. Wimbledon 105 for probably the last over. Looks like home here to finish. Might be able to squeeze another in that over. Was only two minutes, or so it's quite quick. In comes Holmes. Nice flick there down to fine leg. Oh, again looking for the two but sent back. I think that probably could have been a maybe a two there, Hector. What do you think? Yeah, <laughs> get fairly James. <laughs> I, I don't think you want to rush anything at this point. Oh, moves to 38. Still on strike. Oh, playing a miss. We'll play a miss there. Just dug into the pitch. But yeah, you can see Holmes running back to his spot. Clearly wants to get in another over before lunch after this. And again, flight it up. Very nice. The star point. A couple minutes left. No, no. I think they will get one more. Oh. A big show. Run three for one. It looked very two. close. That did look close. That looked extremely close. Just trying to see what the umpire's saying. Leg boys, so he didn't hit it. And very, very loud shout from Ashton. Led that, looked, by that looked very close from where we're sitting, Hector. What, what do you think? It was, lovely, it was a lovely ball. Yeah. Again, we don't have any and we're again, flighted. Again, aggressive. But from just over pitch that there. I think he was just trying to be too aggressive with that. He'll take a single. He'll yeah. move to 39. Boyle, still on nine. He'll face up now. The yeah, Boyle has batted terrifically. Very, very composed. No risks. Oh, Last ball the over. Yeah, let's let's see whether they'll get a see whether they'll get another over in. Shorter. Oh. oh. And so falls. The ball before lunch. And that's lunch. For her. That's gonna, that gonna damage Wimbledon. Very much. 
Anyway, the morning session over. Wimbledon 108 for five. Boyle, the skipper, still out there on 39. He's looked good. I don't say anything else. Jews will come in next after lunch. That's um, a tickle. So, and very nice to be fair to them. Yes, he's very nicely. Reos in the session. Put it on there. He said, "Well, try some." Just look at the scorecard. Pretty gutting wicket to lose. Lee would try and get Dom Sibley here, but I'm not sure if that's going to work. Um, looks like James might have just got rejected. Sibley wants his lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, the ground's been come out here. Redo the crease like we're in the fourteen, I believe. Um and we'll be back with you then.
Hello, welcome back. Sorry, once again, a little technical issue. Might have to bear with us for a bit, but seems like it's all, all is good now. Boyle playing a proper captain's knock, brought up the 50 last over. He's now on 59. Tom Cooper's come in, looked to play. A oh, nice couple boundaries to his name. He, he's on 8 off 17. Uh, unfortunately, Wimbledon lost a wicket just, just after uh, the resume of play. Core behind. Uh, I think he edged it to the slip, so... You know, Tom, that brings Tom Cooper to the crease and he's had a pretty good start. Just an excellent drive, uh, just right of mid-off and over mm, silly mid-off it looks like. So, good start from Cooper and I'm sure they'll need to carry on going with this sort of intent. After no ball, that's very well played from Tom Cooper, just the soft hands there. Lays it back to point. Area. End of the over, Wimbledon, 144 for six. And Boyle on 60 of 93, he's played very well. I don't, I don't want to say too much, to be honest, because I don't want to curse. But he's looked nice today. Holmes will continue. He's about well. 13 overs, two maidens, 25 runs. Only just under two. Couple of wickets to his name as well. Looked to be very aggressive bowling. Nice flat line. Uh, he comes here. That's well played from Boyle. Say so, yeah, a partnership here would be very handy. Tom Keeper very capable with the bat. Well, we know what he can do and comes. Half-hearted appeal there, but he's ball oh, inside edge that down to wide-ish fine leg for a single. Tom Keeper on strike now. Sorry. Blocked from keeper. Eight of twenty one now. It's well played from keeper. End of the over. And another good over from Holmes. Just goes for the one there. I think there could be a change of bowling hit. Just looking to see. Change of bowling, Aravintham back on. He's looked very good in the eight overs that he has bowled. One maiden, 22 runs, two wickets. Run rate economy just below three, 2.8. It'll be interesting to see what he can produce here. A wicket would be nice. He turns at the top of his mark. Bowls a shorter ball and that's hit very hard from Boyle. He's scampering back for the two, could be a run out here. No, very good running. 
from Wimbledon. Very good running. Slight fumble. Uh, deep square, and that means Ball can get through for two. Moves to 63. Turns, comes in, locked well from Boyle. Good start to the spell from Arvinton. Played and ball for no run. Nice old punch into the covers. Couple of balls left this over. Oh, and that is picked up beautifully from Ball. Scamper back for two. That's a very nice shot from him. <laughs> Lovely pick up. Didn't have to put a lot on it, pure timing there. Very nice from him. Very solid there from Ball to end the over. Good over four from it. Ball on 65, Cooper eight. Wimbledon, 149 for six. Holmes will continue from the pavilion end. Very nice long spell here into his 15th over. Being very economical for Ashton. It's well defended from Keeper. Still close in, no one out anymore. Cover in, square leg in. Nice leave. Solid. A bit fuller there. Okay, it seems to have missed out. Slightly full tossish. Looked a slog sweep, but didn't get all of it. Trickles down to mid wicket for no run. Again, Holmes here looking very good. Another maiden over for Holmes. Very nice 
James, how do you see the start of the afternoon session here? Since well, the early wicket. Since the early wicket, I think it's been all Wimbledon. I think uh, Boyle has seriously come on. He's looking pretty positive at the moment. And Cooper's come in and hit her around of air. You can see the partnerships there. This one's slowly building. and They'll hope to push on from here. Aravintham will keep on going into his tenth over here. I think he's been the pick of the bowler so far. What do you say? Nine overs, two wickets, only gone for 20 to 26. It's quite impressive. Although, to be fair, Holmes as well, he's bowled excellently. 15 overs, only 26 runs and two wickets. So I might, might think I was wrong. <laughs> it's a good couple of ends of bowling here, though, for Ashton. This is important as Aravintham comes in. I think this is this is the this is an important partnership here because after this I think you're you're more into the bowling side of it so these two are really gonna have to stick around for a while. Both very capable batsmen. Well, he used to go big here. Very good captain's knock so far. Beautifully played there, soft hands. Dabbles it down to third man for a single. What do you think about them uh, taking out the slip and having no more slips anymore? Dom Stibley's gone to backward point, it looks like. Or maybe he's well, coming back into the slips now. They've got a slip for Cooper, but for Boyle, he does look a lot more. Well, obviously, he's been in for a long time. I think it's a good decision to put Sibley back at point. Cooper definitely keep that slip in. Oh, stayed low. Good leave. 150 came up a couple of balls ago as Boyle signals for is that water or a new pair of gloves, James? I think probably water. Probably water. water. Yeah. <laughs> oh, big shout, big shout. No, not given. I feel like I might have got an inside edge edge in there. Ooh, no, I think it. I think it might actually be gloves, by the looks of it. Looks like Ryan Patel is going to. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's gloves. the gloves. It's, it's gloves. the gloves. We were wrong. Keeper plays a very dominant drive there. Punch to short actually collects well for no run. And the sun has come out a bit. We're slightly struggling here, James, to decide jumper or no jumper. I just put the jumper back on, but it's coming off again. It's a lot hotter now, I think it's 21 degrees. Bit of a breeze, though. Keep looking very good on that front foot, James. He's looking pretty attentive. Between overs here. Boyle. Just under 65, 66 of 103. Holmes will keep on going. James, you think Holmes will just bowl and bowl at one end? Do you agree? Yeah, I think so. I don't really see any reason to take him off. I mean, you can keep bowling. I reckon maybe another four or five more overs, and maybe if they start going a little bit more attack, might be on the line. Just needs to find his length. Got taken off after two overs in the second spell. Not ideal for him. Comes in, licked. Good running there, good run. They're going to get back easily. Pushing for two. Tom Cooper, very good runner. Very quick. Very quick. I'll take a couple there. Ball moves to 68. defence from Boyle. James, do you think with just under 20 overs left now, do you think Wimbledon will look to, when, when, when do they kick on, when do they look to go aggressive? I think around the 12 over mark is when, well, I think Cooper's going to want to get a little bit more settled, maybe get to around 20, 25, and then they're going to properly start being aggressive because there's, there's a lot of runs still to, still to come, I think, if Boyle and Cooper can survive just for an extra three or four overs and then... Who, then they can start to go. Who do you attack? Holmes, the 
obvious after being in Savannah, but Holmes here has been very... Yeah, they are a couple. Yeah. As, as we say that, he just chucked it a bit shorter. Yeah, that's an excellent shot. And a race. Yeah, Not slow quite. down up the hill. Good three, good three. Slow down up the hill, take three. Ball moves into the 70s. Yeah, as you're saying, I think keeper needs a bit longer. I agree, 12th over if they can start to kick on, because the run rate... They've done well to get here, but the run rate is still rather slow. Good ball. Solid defence there. Five from the over so far, last ball to come. And if you're Ashton, if you're Ben Geddes, the skipper, are you, especially in that last five, ten overs, do you bowl seam seam or do seam spin? Seam spin, I think. Do you bring Hunt, Hunt and Aravithan back on? Or? Mm, it's, a tough, it's a tough one. And see how Aravithan does in the next couple of overs, but... Uh, they could see Hunt warming up there, so. End of the over there, keeping Nick's a single to remain on strike. He moves to nine. I think, think we're going to want to be looking at around 270 from here. If just one of these batsmen can bat to the end, then you, you'd assume 270 is about the, the score they should be getting, I think. In comes Aravind then. Bowls and plate. Plays through for a single from Cooper. Push down to the leg side. They've uh, they've chucked a fair few uh, fielders out onto the boundary on the leg side to Arendtham. What do you think of that decision, Nick? Well, I don't know if he's going to go short, James, because it doesn't look like. I know there's a lot of bounce on this pitch, but he has been bowling full of a length. If if anything, and comes on if you're going to have two out deep on the leg side. He says a bit too conservative, maybe. Um, see, and he goes full there. Oh, and great shot from Cooper. Just Good hand to it go. there by extra cover. Probably stopped it going all the way to the boundary, but just just the two. Keeper moves to twelve. Yeah, well, my theory is if if you've got people out deep on the leg side, you've got to bowl short. What a shot. Oh, great shot again by Cooper. That's going to race away to the boundary. And he bowled just, that full and Cooper did punish it. He flipped just, it. Just a little bit too straight there from Aaron Vinton.
Well, yeah, we were wondering whether uh, Holmes was going to keep on bowling, but it seems like Hunt's come back into the attack, bowling his 11th over. He's oh. bowled fairly well so far, economy of 3.9, two wickets for him, just the one maiden. He'd back say, to the end yeah. he was opening from, which I think is probably the correct decision. He didn't last long when he moved to the other end and he was bowling a little bit too short, but this, this seems like a good decision. Back at his end, first ball. Comfortable start. Better length, but comfortable for ball. Yeah, no, two overs at the other end really didn't work for him. Short, fair few no balls. It's got to have something to do with the slope. I couldn't possibly say why, but... It is a two on the other side. And he come. Ooh. And that is very short and sort of swatted down from ball there. Runs the first hard, but no, no two. Just mm. a single there, 73. Did well not to hit that one in the air. You had to get over it and probably hit it. Pretty much down into the ground. Cover drive inside edge there from keeper. Scamper three for one, moves to 17 or 40. Foil on strike. That's another no ball. From Hunt. Nice single there from Wimbledon again. Well, comfortable single out to deep cover. That's another, he's got to sort something out with his run up. I feel I might just feel a bit uncomfortable. Not too sure what it is, but he's bowled. I think that's his fifth no ball this, this game. Into his 11th over. Gone for 43 runs at a rate of 4.1. He's, he's actually bowling well. Just had a couple. Nicely left from keeper. Goes through the keeper for no run. And that's another no ball. And some, that's another no ball. Two in a row here. Provides a problem for Geddes, a skipper. What does he do with yeah, You can sense some frustration coming from Hunter. I think he's going to bowl a short one soon. Let the anger out. What do you think, Hope? Yeah, <laughs> you could be right. Sort of just sort of jab to two and both at Doyle. Doyle. It's an interesting passage of play, actually. Don't know how to call it, to be honest, Jeff. 170 for six. Ooh. <laughs> That's a very quick ball. Yeah. Keeper just sort of. Interesting duck there, Get, gets out of the way, goes through the keeper. A lot of aggression there. Yeah, James, you're right, it definitely has sped up a bit. That's a great shot from Cooper Amazing. over over cover, raced away to the boundary down the slope. Up he's looking cover. He's looking really good at the moment, really this starting to take the game to the bowlers. Is what Wimbledon need up and over, up and over cover, and that's a proper shot. Another get over for Wimbledon. You seem don't don't don't, don't speak to declare. Yeah, yeah. And then Ashton will have 54 overs, I believe. I don't, I I, I, don't. I think a draw is possible. Nah, someone's going to win. Well, depends how quickly we go here, but looks as if I'm going to trying to kick on a bit. Another good over. It's a Back 
come to bow. 11 over, 35 rounds, 3.2 economy. Very cute there from Boyle, just to guide it down to third man. Yeah, he's played Rotate that shot a couple of times today. It's a very mm. effective way of shifting the strike around, not, not letting the bowler settle. He moves to 75 off 112. And again, a bit of cloud cover now, James. Indeed. Jumper could be back on. <laughs> Plenty of options. And he comes a bit shorter, padded down from Tony Keeper, right back to him. The confusion there seems. Well, it's been given. Uh, it's been given. It's quite questionable. That seemed as if, just for those of you who can't see, had a very nice spike there. It seemed as if it bounced before backward point. Backward point to then the umpire's given it. It's a very, very, very useful knock from Tom Keeper. He'll, he'll feel. He'll be feeling, yeah, very, feeling very hard done by that. Did look as if it landed just short of the fielder. I'm not, yeah, I'm not too sure about that decision, to be honest. 21 or 45, very good knock from Don Keeper to steer them back in. That's an unlucky way to get out. People people will have their say. People have their say. But very, very handy knock from him. Very unlucky way to get out. Looked as if he could have gone big, but unfortunately, you have to back in up. And... Boyle will now be joined by Twy. Boyle's had a lot of batting partners today, James. He's batted very well. He's having another yeah, look at the wicket. It's a very necessary, very necessary knock. Yeah, he just needs to push on. A couple wickets left. Going to have to rotate the strike in his favour right, for the next 15 or so overs. <laughs> Cooper will be feeling hard done, but he grinded very nicely. We're looking very, very good. and well, it's quite a soft... Interesting, cool, but there you go. It's a third wicket for Aravinthan. He's bowled incredibly well, point one and three wickets. And here he is for his first ball, Twine. Nice, comfortable leave. Nicely cut away by Boyle. Just played it down to fine leg again, rotating the strike. Big test for Twine here, but to stick with him for the next. Yeah, oh. 
first step. Uh, I think he's in the third step position. And just a nice soft hand from Twan. Well, so I raised his hand, raised away to the back. Not going to be happy with that. That just went soft. That is right in the rib cage there. Just a bit of aggression. It looks a bit sore. He's walking off. Gloves on. I think it struck him straight, straight in the side of the glove and just onto the bone. That's interesting. He's That's gonna not good for Boyle. Get some water out there. It's a very valiant knock so far, James. Do you reckon? It's going to need to stick around, I think. What do you reckon with 15 overs left on the doors? What do you reckon they could, they could get to? I'm sticking with 280 being an impressive way to finish from here. <laughs> yeah. A bit of work. Getting the glove kick. And again, a lot of pop. Nice leave, a bit of bounce. As we say, tall guy generates a lot of bounce. Oh, from that, from that over. That's just it. 181 for seven. Partnership of seven so far. Lovely partnership of 52 between Cooper and Boyle. And that's a good ticket. Ticket's 36. Nick. Twine, just like Dom Tib. Fielding there to pick that one out. Diving to the right. Nice pick up. Saves and runs for sure. But it, do you reckon there's a lot of movement out there at the moment, James? I mean, we're about we're 50 overs in and can't see a lot of movement, but I'll be sad that depends. Oh, that's, that's an excellent that's delivery. <laughs> that's definitely movement there. Yeah. Taking a lot of movement off the seat. And if you're 20, we, you look ready to drive the ball and let it be trying I think he looked like that to look something in English. That's been said. Sorry, please. I've seen a couple of sorry players come down to show there's a ball. Dan Orton. Give me the money. Playing this game. A very good over from Marilyn. Oh, man. Just trying to force it a little bit too much. I'm stepping up out and across his crease there. 14 overs to go after the end of it. Interesting to see. Boy, will he, will he go and attack? Hunt, will Hunt up. Hunt again. Big slash there. Made an over. Very, very good over from Aravind. Yeah, I just think he's, he's just trying to force it a little bit too much. Yeah. Oh, Start off with a dot here. A 
couple wickets to his name already. Be looking to add a couple more. Right, I'm afraid we're going to leave you for a few overs. We've just got our lunch in. Gorgeous looking uh, burger and halloumi fries. So we'll be back in a couple of overs. We're on our lunch break at home.
My net income for this year, fairly minimal. It was like 25 cents in the train.
Salam. Relative match over up. I got a yeah, like half a first shot of six. Right, yeah. And while we were away, um, Twine ran himself out, hit one to mid off, and a direct hit saw him go just before drinks break. So. Lovely lunch as well. <laughs> it has to be set. Oil here looking very good. This is a very valuable innings for the team. Very much needed in this situation. Momentum. Steps up the bar. Oh, and run out opportunity. Just a miss. Well played from from Lamb. Dabs it down for a single. Gets the ball back on strike. Very clever. James, James, we're into the um, 11th. So 11 to go. 10 to go. Now, surely, surely they start hitting now. You, you would assume so. Two wickets to go. Uh, I mean, it does look like they back quite deep, but I think there's no point throwing your wicket away. I think just play positively and just, I think, just push the singles more, try to rotate the strike. I think that's the key because the boundary is always going to come. Interesting ball. A lot of nip. He's, he is actually getting a lot of nip. Badminton. Well left open ball. No run. Stays on 82 of 125 balls. Strike rate of 65.6. Proper knock. As you were saying, James, he could have had a couple of sixes that just about short of the rope. I don't think he'll be complaining with his 82, though. He's batted very nicely. You're not wrong. As he comes down proper the Proper aggression, man. That's a very good cricket shot. That's a proper, proper shot. Charles Raced away down. for four, beats mid on. Oh. That Two is step. Yeah, pure proper, class. Proper cricket shot on drive. Moves to 86. I'm looking forward to seeing this replay. Hector, I hate the, to be um, the one to now, say it. No I hate to be the one to say it, but he's nearing his 100. No, James. <laughs> James please. <laughs> what does he have to do? To... If he gets out, it's all your fault now. <laughs> I, I think I'll cry. Oh, that's good cricket. Just well, dab yeah. it down to third he man. He does it. He loves Keeps it. Keeps himself on strike, potentially for the next over. Just two balls to come. Bit of a Ben Stokes, Jack Leach situation here. You know, Not face, quite. Face, face four or five. No, I'd, say, I'd say Lamb's probably a bit better than Jack Leach. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Let's see what he can do here. Oh, so he just digs in first last ten overs. Get a bit of score on here. Bit of... All he needs to do, yeah. Yeah, well kept out. That was a good delivery from Aaron Linton. I'll be your cap. One more to survive from that. And now the sun is beating <coughs> down. <clears throat> Rather hot now. It's beautiful. Beautiful day. Still got sort of 50, 60 odd overs left. Very nicely guided from Lamb. If anyone's no interested, for no run. the FA Cup is kicking off in about five minutes. So, James, that, that, that's football. That's not cricket. Yeah, well, I don't know. Talk about England. Well, how are England doing, actually? I actually don't know. I'll, I'll check now. Not too sure. I thought Ireland are actually going all right. Oh. 
Ireland, 322 for six. Who would have seen that? Probably coming? nice, he's scoring. Uh, no one really. McBreen well, on. S oh, Adair on 87. And McBreen on 69. So. Mm, good partnership. It's a proper partnership for the 10th wicket. Who knows? If they get a lead of 200, it could be one of the upsets of the summer. Can't, can't, can't see that happening. I believe. In comes Holmes into his 19th over. Oh, good nice fielding from Sibbers. Nice steer from Bob. Yeah, James, so you got um, rejected by Dominic Sibbers at the lunch break. I you went up to him, asked for an interview. And well, I just, what he said. Why well, I went up to him and I said, excuse me, Dom, it'll be, great. It'll be <laughs> lovely to have you on the, on the live stream. Probably should be um, calling him Dom. Well, I don't know what I'd I'd say I'd say. The fridge. Probably should, well, that's a little bit rude. <laughs> so moved to one here. Anyway, so he, he was so quite he, keen to get into lunch. He was, yeah. Fair yeah, I'm sure we'll catch him later. Fair sort of thought it'd be nice for all of you to listen to an England player speak. Yeah, that's true. Maybe get maybe get Paolo later. Yeah. Proper we'll all rather have him. Proper player. Land forward here. Very nice, very nice little puncher. Nice very from Lambert. Nice that's all he has to do. Two off eight, he's doing a job here. Okay. Oh, and and that that's is, gone through everything. That is very interesting. Is it from Johnson? Oh, I don't think it, I think it was, I think it was a bye, yeah. I think it was a bye. Turned a lot, to be fair. Holmes, 19th over, he's pulled properly well. He's done a job, so has Aaron Those two have been the standout today, and they're moving. Mid on and mid off back to long. Want to give him a single here. And they do do that. So steers it down. Moves to 89, and that's a 200 up for Wimbledon. Some people didn't think that that would have happened early doors. But yeah, they were looking yeah. pretty shaky, but Very this knock resurgence. from Jack Boyle has really steered his team back into contention for the match. And let's just hope he keeps pushing. Very solid finish from Lamb. End of the over. Wimbledon 200 for eight. And Boyle almost into the nervous 90s. What are you feeling, James? Oh, I really, really hope he does it. He deserves it. He's been, he's been here all he day. He's seen pretty much. pretty much every batsman. I think he's been. Apart from I, think, one. I think he came in in this fifth over. It'll be interesting to see how many hours he's been out for, actually. I can tell three. you 178 minutes. That's so about three. Yeah, three bang on. 89 or 30. One thing, looking at his, uh, looking at the scorecard here, he does. He rotates a lot though, a lot of singles, like dot single, dot single, dot four. It's very handy. Partnership of 15 between these two. Boyle, 12 off 10. Richie Lamb, 3 off 10. Very valuable. And Sam Hunt, not Sean Hunt, Sam Hunt comes on to bowl now. Left arm Meadows, keeper standing up. Yeah, no run to the fridge. <laughs> Just glanced that down to back one point, Dom Sibley. Cleans it up. As you can see here, James, we've got Cal Cook. Oh, this is a very interesting field. Everyone wide, on the leg side back. Wide long on. Deep back could square, fine leg, deep mid wicket, cow sort of thing. And a third man, and a deep extra cover. And a deep cover. And a, and a long off. And a long off. So they're only. So they have two in the ring. Two basically. in the ring here. And Tom Sibley at back good point. And some and guy extra cover. Short extra. See, <laughs> they do want to give the strike away. It's clever. As in comes Sam Hunt. 
just trying to force it there for Ellis, but back to it's a yeah. sticky situation. Do you drop and run, try and push for two, or do you go B? I, I think, think he's got both. To... I think he's got both in his locket, to be honest. But I think you have to manoeuvre it just around, push it into the gap, look for two. That's straight to the field. That's not what he needs. Back foot punch there. Pulled away, just the single to the deep mid wicket. End of the over there. Interesting that they didn't bring men up. It's almost as if they want Boyle on strike. Yeah. They kept them out there, easy single for Boyle. Just the one from the over there, good over. Went within 201 for eight ball. Into the nervous 90s, James. Into 90. <laughs> the nervous 90s. Would you be nervous, Hector? Uh, I've never actually got there, James, so I can't possibly tell you. But do you think you would be? Yeah, I reckon you beat the week, was it? Yeah. I don't know, it's all it's all it's just still going through the motions, so it's all it blows past you. I feel pretty dulled at the moment. Heat Boiled master, on strike yeah. to And you're so, you're so concentrated that you don't really... Moves into his 20th. He's coming to us this over. one. And he comes. Boyle flicks that down to Long On. Kieran Powell at Long On Fields, just the one, moves to 91. Now they've got five at Lamb. I reckon Lamb starts swing. We're just going to try and fix some technical issues here, hopefully get the stream back up and running. It will be about 20. Bring this over, we'll look to block out this ball, get ball back on strike for the next. Sharp. Having said that, he slashes that out. Oh, it's a deep cover. Oh, and they're going to scamper back for two hit. Great running. They make Direct hit, I think it could have been out, you know. All right, I'm getting nervous. Come on, come on, Boyle. Ball on strike, 91 of 137. Sam Hunt to continue. I don't know, something about this field makes me nervous, James. It really does make me nervous. I'm not sure what it is. I just think they're on. They must have a plan. They they've must have a way. plan because they've put everyone out. And it's. Do they bring everyone in for Lamb? I can't. Mm, yes. But will, will they. Can he drop them run for two? I don't know, I think you have to push it in the gap and really go for it. See, that, that could be... Five overs to go. Moves to 92. 92. Lamb on strike on the seven. Single would be much appreciated. Good leave. Good leave from that, James. 
Can you just lovely little seven so far? And then comes Hunt. Oof, sort of jabbed it. Jabbed it back to cover. I think Boyle needs to keep the strike a little bit more. He, because Lamb seems to be struggling to rotate it. Oh, popped up from Lamb. And are they going to push they it round two? two. It's very good running from Boyle and Lamb. <coughs> That's a nice two from them. Moves to 209 here. Which mainly 6.2. Slash <coughs> oh, oh, edged man. through the slip. What a cameo four. this is going to be here. This is excellent. Simply couldn't get to it in time. How many overs do we have left? Six, Six overs after the four. Oh, yes. A little slash from Lammy. That, that will help. <coughs> that will help. That'll take him. You've got to take him here, James, don't you? That'll play seven from the over. And the over. Ball lost. No, the ball's back out. Oh, one, sorry, one more ball left in this over. On to the top of his mark. <laughs> Into land. Starts well back. Pads it down. Ball back on straight. Boyle on strike, 92-138. Yeah, the tension's palpable. <laughs> oh, I'm very nervous at this point. Will Holmes keep on bowling? You'd, ass you'd assume so. It looks like it is, yeah. Holmes will stay on, two for 48 from his 20. He's put a big shift in today for Ashton. He's bowled very well, has to be said. Three maidens, 48 runs, two wickets. Um, economy of 2.4. <coughs> Produce here. Just for those coming off, deep back. one out on the offside though, which is quite key if he if he leaves on a little bit short and wide. Deep cover. Boyle will be able to exploit. And we've lost connection, so we're just going to talk you through. And we're back. back. Oh, oh, just another single. single. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 93 off 139 now. Lamb. Lamb on strike. He is striking the ball nicely today, Lamb. We really need Lamb to just give Boyle back the strike. Right, they're pushing all the fielders in now. Just drop one short, get to the other end. Every fielder. That's all we want to see. In close. They're clearly trying to prevent this thing. Oh. And he comes, patted away, looking for a run. Told no, sent back. Lamb says no. He's out, Lamb's gone. Nice 12 from him. <laughs> really did what he had to do. Anyway, pressure's on now. Have to stay in for Jack Ball. Nerves are very much there now. Still seven away. Pike last wicket. Can he survive? Yeah. Normal in 214 for nine. Pike strolls out. Giving the bat a little twist. Looks to 
take is gone and uh, people are in here. It's a very tight field. Two balls to survive. Well left, well left. Oh. One more. And the men are going out now, inviting him to take a single. How many to come? Two more. Holmes wants cow out as well. I think this is the last ball. Holmes is in. Oh, well defended. And the over ball back on strike. 93 7 away. Interesting. In comes Hunt. Delivery slashed at it. Straight down the throat of long off, no run. You just change, you got your feel, it's gotta be boundaries. Gonna push. There you go. It's a down, could be two, could be two, they're gonna push hard for it. It's very hard looking. No run. 94, pike on strike. That's oh, right. <laughs> Bit of rhyming. He's got four balls to survive. He survived two so far. You feel that Hunt's just got to, he's got to attack the stumps in. Yeah, 100%. Pike will look to leave anything outside. Very interesting. Men in, apart from fine leg. I say he'll oh, look to leave. Before. I say he'll look to leave. How about slash it down to third man for four? Valuable it's runs. A lovely, now. lovely shot. All yeah, all yeah. runs are valuable runs. When we move to two nineteen, it's a properly good shot. And now moved one man out on the leg side. Big hunt has moved to point, and they're putting a third man in. Kieran Powell moves to. Third man. He comes. Oh, and that's an edge picked up by Sibley. Bump ball, top ball. Two to come from this over. That's a loopy ball. Scam through for a single ball on strike. One ball left of the over. It's going to be interesting to see what happens now. 94 off 141. He's been out here for almost three and a half hours. It's been a proper, proper knock. 220 for nine, Wimbledon. Top with Mark. Ball two steps down. It'll be a single. He'll retain the strike. Moves to 95. 142. 95. Five away. 2 2 1. Holmes has bowled very well. You'd imagine Holmes would stay on now, James, wouldn't you? Uh, you would hope so, yeah. As if he will be. Every man out.
I do it quite literally every man out. Apart from Dom Sibley on the 45. All I would say is there's a, I'd say there's a big space between mid off and mid on. Got to push that. And they'll push hard for two here. Run out chance. Oh, oh he, gets gets back, he gets back. He gets back. Moves to 97. 97. Three away now. Three away, Holmes. Plays it into the leg side. Oh, it looks it hands. Doesn't want it, doesn't want it. Flatter and quicker. Oh, we'll say no, thank you. Down the leg. Looks to sweep there. No run. Very hard to deep backward square. Nail biting style. Wet. Down to find a bit of a misfield from Dom Sibley. Take around the first. Could have been two. Two balls left for the over. Pike on strike. Pike on strike. Just needs to survive these two. Holmes. Holmes will bowl. As usual, men in. Locked out. Well played, feel, well played, well played. You can feel Come the on. tension around here. Everyone stop what they're doing to watch. Got people up on the balcony, you've got everyone dotted around the boundary. Just one ball to survive there. He's Was that a drop? Did he edge it? I'm not Don't too sure, James, anyway. Boil on strike, 98, two runs away. Pike has done a job. He survived this over, he survived the other over. He's on five off seven, Boyle needs two. Sam Hunt will continue bowling. Um, the tension is unbearable at this point. Men out everywhere you look. Hunt bowling, ball on strike, 98 of 146. 67 strike rate, he's gone very well today. Just plays it softly out to deep extra cover and doesn't take the run. Soft hands, doesn't want to go for it. Rightly so. 98. Drop them run. How many overs left? Three. Oh. <laughs> Set that a lot harder down the throat of long off. No run. Pretty silent atmosphere at the moment, it has to be said. Comes down, could that be two? Doesn't look as if, didn't run the first didn't very hard. Didn't want the two, didn't want the two. 99 for Boyle. It's on 99. Three balls left of this over. Three to survive for Pilk. Men coming in. Pike. Pike on the strike. There are gaps to be picked. Fine leg, third man. Anywhere down that square side would be nice. Oh. And he'll slash over the slips Ooh. and he'll jog through for one. Head and hands moment as you thought that could have been heading straight for the slips, but 99. Chance now. Oh, they're sending the fielders back. Oh, that's a strange Facing decision. his 150th ball, 99. 
hunt. It's a bar. Are you surprised that they haven't brought everyone in, Hector? Slashes. Oh! Straight to mid off, no run. Last ball of this over. Uh, I wouldn't say I am surprised. I mean, they've brought their offside in. It's quite hard to work it down the leg side, especially with the tightness in the line that hands are bowling at the moment. Turns at the top of his run up. Oh. No run, he's hit that straight to cover. End of the over, pike back on strike, ball left stranded on 99 of 151. Two overs to go. Who, if you're Ben Geddes, Ashton captain, do you keep you keep Burns bowling? Well, yeah, they have kept Burns bowling. I think the spinner has more chance of getting the wicket. Solid block from Pike. Five more of those would be lovely. <laughs> Goes again. Pike leans into it, packs it down for no run. Three more. Well played, well played. One thing you have to say about Holmes is he's very consistent. He can pitch mm. it wherever he wants. That's all. It's all 23 in a row. I'm off for a bit. Came off for a little while. Locked from Pike. One more. One ball left. This over. I was about to say, if he, if he takes a single, that'll be interesting. <laughs> that'd be a rogue call, to be fair. Boy, he survived it. Made an over. Incredible from Pike. Just blocked it. Holmes did everything he, he needed to do. He put it on a length grip. And bike. It. Sam Hunt again. Last over. Six balls left of this. Ball on 99. 151 balls faced. And he is properly grinded today. It's been an incredible inning. He is very much helped Wimbledon to this total. <laughs> As you didn't see, slash it towards mid off a no run. As Hunt turns. Yeah! And he's got away. Got away. He's got it. To the bounty, two runs, and that what a hundred that is. That was an incredible innings on a very tough day. And the crowd go, well, wow, what an innings that is on the skipper. What a 100, 101 off, 153 balls going at 66. What a knock, batting with all sorts of players. Absolutely class. Batting with 11 for a long time. And he has just played an incredible innings. Now, four balls left, James. Now he's just got to go back. Now he's going to go there. What an innings that is from Moyle.
four balls left. What can you believe? Oh, and he goes high. That's up in the air. Deep square beneath and dropped. You can see the intent there. Run back for a two. Dropped by deep square. Tried to flick. Went high. Deep square coming round. Tough catch, to be fair to him. Drop catch. There'll be two more for him. Three balls to go. 230 for nine. Ball has done it. Ball has his 100. Hunt comes in. Well, it's gone high Goes again. Goes short, uh, and that's been smashed up high. Should be caught. Filled it beneath, should be gone. Is it gone. Is. Long on cat, takes the catch. Right, well, and what an inning. That concludes the first innings. So, what an inning. Apart from two balls, two balls to remain. Very well bowled from Ashton early on. But ball is the star of that innings. What an innings that was. 103 off 155. And that's a proper captain's knock for you. <coughs> As he gets a round of applause. As he walks in, helmet off, that raise. That is a proper, proper innings. Very tense in the 90s, the nervous 90s. It took him a while to get there when he reached 90. But that is incredible from him. As the players walk off, it's very much in the balance. 230 for 10. He did say two, 260, 280 would be a nice score, but Ashton with 10 overs less. Remember that they have firepower, they've got Powell, Sibley, Geddes all to come. It's going to be a very, very interesting, exciting second innings. But for now, boy, what an innings. James, I think we're going to leave them there and we'll, we'll be back for the start of the second. Yeah, 100%. Well, where, where is that? Close, Matt. Yeah. Yeah, I've done that.
Does that work? Then welcome back to the second innings here. If you just joined Wimbledon, just put 230 on all out against Ashton. Thanks to an incredible 103 from Jack Boyle. Powell, Kieran Powell, West Indies International, 50 test matches under his name. To open the batting with Ben Geddes, sorry player. Pike, to open the bowling after incredible session of just blocking it out for ball. He must be feeling good. Started with a no ball. And a bit of normality. Gives the ball a shine as he starts to run. Oh my. And that is an incredible <laughs> shot. <laughs> Kieran Powell has just nonchalantly <laughs> just smashed, smashed it him. straight out of the ground. That could take a while to find. That, that has gone over the hedge. That looked as if he put no effort in it. Wow. I mean, <laughs> that is class. Wow. Just a bit of shadow batting now. He looks bored after hitting a six. So that's a decent start for him. The ball, <laughs> has the ball been I found? I think we're going to have to get a new, new ball. I mean, the ball's three balls old. Yeah, a new new ball coming out. So after playing and missing one, I think that was enough to get his eye in. <laughs> Where do you bowl to power? Oh, is the real really, question. I don't really know. It's quite a spectacle, to be honest. That was unreal. I mean, he just sort of lent on that. Lent on it. Head down, just absolutely clobbered that. <laughs> That is a properly good cricket shot. And he's standing. If you're Pike, you, you don't really want to be bowling at this point, do you, James? I don't really think you know what to do. And this is going to be interesting. Then he comes off his wide run up. And, and he's just smoked it through the covers. I don't think he'll make it to the boundary. He's going to get a two, but still very comfortable. Push for two, that's a very nice shot. That should move to nine after three. Solid start. England v Ireland, Josh Tung gets us Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer on debut. What's the score? Um, Ireland are 340 for eight. Trail by 12. Will they get a first innings lead? As in comes Pike and wraps. Wraps Powell on the pad there. Half after the appeal from the team. Not given. Yeah, 340 for eight. It's been a very good innings from them, to be fair. McBreen still out there on 79. Adair out for 88. Um, problem is they've had a retired hurt, so it's just one wicket. Can they get a lead? Making them bad again. It's pulled away, very bottom edgy. You feared, you feared there on the short ball there. Could have been turned the distance. Umpire calls one short. One short for power, so that, that'll, that'll take a run off. What's the ruling of a one short? Surely one short means that Powell now goes to the non striker. No, it only just means one. he only gets one run. Not the two. Only round one, essentially. Last ball of the over. In comes Pike. Nice and full, driven hard, but lovely hands of that. Prevents a boundary. End of the over. Ten from it to start. Sun is beating down now. James is going to move the panorama. Yeah, if, 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 anyone, if anyone's interested. It's a good start. Powell looking dangerous. Geddes. And it says here on the scorecard, Dom Sibley in at eight. But I, I can't believe that to be true. James, maybe we can try again and get him. Later on, Sibbers. Your friend. <laughs> you can ask this time, thank you. I want to get sent back twice. Geddes to face up against Richie Lamb. Lamb, you know, he was, he was 
striking the ball quite nicely, actually. Nice cameo of 13, I believe, James, in the first inning. Yeah, he was. It was all right. He, he, he hung in there and just was. He was either one who got run out. No, I don't think he was. No, that was. No, that was it. Just warming up. <laughs> Two slips in. Point. Extra cover. No one out. Ooh, fine leg. Starts his run up. Quite methodical. It'll be a bye, I believe. Yeah, Geddes off the mark. Geddes wearing the Surrey helmet. Mega flex. <laughs> I love that. Power lamb. Seems quite a methodical body, you know, he strolls in, he's a bit methodical body. He just that. comes through, you know, he's not aggressive. <laughs> he's just quite like quite regular. Gun <laughs> gun no, not not in that way. Gully in. Full power. Two slips, gully, backward point. Cover. Mid on, mid off. Fine leg and mid wicket. That's the field. Sivers has padded up. Nicely bowled. Solid cricket. Hector, I feel a, I feel a big one coming straight to us. A crowd cat could be. I might have to be on the cards, myself to go catch it. That'd be quite cool. Crowd cat could be on the cards. Unfortunately, it won't, it won't be called cool in the video. So. Well, it might be if I run over there. Actually, no, it wouldn't. Be. I can't. You have to run onto the pitch. Steaming in his lamb. Back down the ground. Oh, and... sorry. Very nice. Very nice hit there. But how three for one moves into double figures. Facing up there, um, at the top of his mark. Skelly's doing well this season for Surrey. I think he, he hasn't played. He hasn't played first team yet. He's played a couple T20s. Um, I, I could be wrong. Patel, Patel's played a couple. How's he done? Obviously, Sibley's going very well. With Is turns it? at the top of the order? A couple fifties under his belt. Not sure about the hundred yet, but he's looking good. Do these count as first class runs? Can, can say. You'd assume not, wouldn't you? Yeah. Hmm. Too sure. Interesting field here. Short, short mid wicket. What does that tell you, James? I think they're assuming there's going to be a little bit of pop. More composed start from Geddes than from from uh, Powell. Powell really came out <laughs> the blocks firing. Good over from Lamb, just a two from it. Twelve for naught. Bit like a sense of normality. Such that good. first over. Pike, how's he going to be feeling? I think I think Powell can go early. Can go well, out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, he doesn't strike me as the most patient. It doesn't need to be if you can do that. <laughs> yeah, but one missed time and we're in business. Yeah, well, someone who has 44 international test matches doesn't miss time it very much, does he? Yeah, you're not wrong. Like, oh my god. Oh, he just flicked, flicked it hard. before. <laughs> one bounce for easy as you like. Yeah, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure that was a missed time, Hector. <laughs> And it was a one bounce four. Give you right. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Umpire's finger goes up, James. That's the one. Believe in old Pike. I heard a couple Believe in old Pike. Umpire gives it, and that is a huge wicket for Wimbledon. Oh, now Sibbers is coming in. That is absolutely huge. Dom Sibley steps out. As we're just looking at the replay here, James. And oh, that is very tight. Very tight. Um, I'd take it. I'd take it. I mean, that is absolutely huge for Wimbledon. Sort of, the big I, wicket. I thought I heard a couple of noises there, to be honest. The big wicket of Kieran Powell. He was looking very dangerous so early we can on. get Kieran Powell on the interview. Yeah, no, <laughs> I don't think he'd be too happy, to be honest. Not at the moment. Hello. It's all right, yeah. Well, do you want to that... hop on and give your, give your thoughts on the match? <laughs> yeah, we're doing yeah. commentary. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, let me do a lap, maybe. Oh, yes, please. Thank you. News just in. Breaking news. <laughs> Dan Moriarty. Sorry, Spinner. He'll be with us shortly. <laughs> We hear him power watching him walk back to the into the change rooms. He isn't too happy with himself, has to be said. I hope our, our streams are up on the TV. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. <laughs> a Don't big... want to get on the wrong side of him, but what a big breakthrough that is for He batted very Wimbledon. nicely though. Looked incredible. Thought we were in for a bit of a show. It's in for a short while. And this makes it a lot more interesting. Get the wick of the Sibley. They're in. Sibbers, here we go. Sibley doing a couple practice shots. The bloke played for England, so he must be alright. Two sorry players at the crease. A lot of experience between these two. Land turns at the top of his mark. 
licked from Geddes to the boundary for four. That's his first boundary of the day. He moves to five of seven. Oh, no, le oh, leg bias, I believe. Twenty for one to win two hundred and eleven. And that is an incredible shot. Is he going to reach the boundary? Oh, Ooh. excellent fielding! Brilliant quite fielding! Rich, he absolutely pured it straight down the ground. That would be cover through drive the covers. through the covers. <coughs> Thought it would make it, but just slowed up near the end. And good fielding. Take three for it. Sibbers back on strike. Lamb just moved fine leg to like a deep backward square leg. Maybe they've got a plan for a short one. Wrapped him on the pads. Good delivery. Simply yet to score. One ball left of this over. It's been a good over. 208 to win. Nine wickets in hand. Very solid from Sibley. No run end of the over. That's to 23 for one. Great shot there from Geddes, just pulled away for four. No way anyone doing that.
Very nice leave there from Sibley to end the over. After 31 for one, after the first six, Sibley four of 12, Geddes eight of 14. Looking at the worm here, pretty similar. One for 18 he has, after three, economy of six. He's been looking good, got the, got the very important wicket. Very important wicket. Geddes, the skipper, will face up the seventh over. Very well left. Run rate required 4.18. It's going to be a very interesting game this. Couple of wickets now, breakthrough will be very nice. Sibley or Geddes, very equal. 200 to win on the dot.
How many overs remaining? Huh? Um, 47.4. 200 or 47. Minimum. Could Four. be t quite tight. Yeah, well, Romo required 4.2. Good start from Wimbledon. After restricting power. Pike runs in. Drops it short in. Ben Geddy slashes Great. away at that through the mid wicket region for a very, a very well shot. in the last two overs, he's, he's hit one straight down there. It's absolutely smoked it. That'll be four. He moves to 12 off 17. It'll be interesting to see if he uh, can replicate the captain's knock. Mm. He'd well, do well to. He'd do well to. He did very well. It's a very nice shot. Watching the replay here. Convincing shot down to mid off for no run. Two balls remaining of this over. Geddes has looked pretty comfortable, would you say, James? Any scares? No, he's been heavily in control uh, throughout his 18 deliveries. He's had some very nice shots in there as well, so I'm sure he'll kick on. Here comes Pike. Very soft hands there from Geddes. That'll be another boundary through the slip region. Probably the first. Time. He hasn't looked incredibly dominant, but you know he's still got away with it. It's gone through the slips before. I think that's quite a nice shot. Actually, dropped the hand, placed it nicely. Bit of a breeze picking up now. People dotted around the boundary. Turns and, and I'm sure you can hear that, but he's gone. They don't, Ben Geddes going for a flourishing cover Commentator's drive. Commentator's curse again. <laughs> Finds the inside edge and has to go. Wicket's falling, that's Pike's second. He's been looking very good. Very, very good. Ashton 39 for two, and that's a big wicket of the captain. If you just look at the replay here, and there's a slight delay, so you would have heard it early on. However, Nathan walks in. Green hat on. Get his ball. After all that. Right past us. Yeah, look very nice for his 16 off 20. An unfortunate, unfortunate end to a good knock. Just found the inside edge. Almost too aggressive, you might say. Finds the inside edge. Very well bowled from Pike. He takes a second. Lamb will continue from the pavilion end. He's bowled well, three overs, nine runs. Economy of three. And again, this makes this game very interesting, James. Very interesting. I know Wimbledon's starting to get some uh, momentum. He's got two wickets down, two big names as well. So Pretty similar start to Wimbledon's innings, actually, as well. Yeah, that is true. Came out of the blocks firing. I think Sibley's a big wicket here. Sibley is. Lamb's been bowling well. Can he, can he tempt Sibley into something? Two slips in and the backward point. Simply lets that go through. Again, I'm, I'm sort of Ryan Patel in at a short mid wicket. That does indicate they'd maybe chuck it up in the in the rib cage a bit. Try and get it yeah, to the top. Yeah, they've also got a deep square leg, so I'm sort of thinking they. We must have a plan to chuck one short and deep square hope short one pops wicket. or he just gets too quickly to it. It's a definite gap through cover if Sibley wants to go there. Yeah, he's full and Sibley does try and hit that gap. Excellent fielding. Very nice stop from the skipper. Good bowling from Lamb, making him play. Trying to fall something here. Sibley is very composed though, very patient. Means now. A bit shorter, well played, well blocked from Sibley. Let's get over from that. <laughs> I 
Was it slightly fuller there? Yorker length. Simply trying to push it through the covers, but just sort of died on him. What is the length on this wicket, James? What would you say? That's Especially for Sibley tall guy. Hard to, hard to explain. Yeah. Uh, so I'd say he's slightly short. Back of length, probably. Although, pitching it up does seem to get quite a lot of edges. Also, wouldn't discount the short ball. That's got quite a lot of wickets today, even in the Wimbledon innings. Hunt, Hunt was a big believer in the short ball. Yeah, it worked for him. It did. And if you look at most of uh, Aravinthan's wickets, lots of them were from, from the short ball as well. Yeah. Hunt picked up that key wicket of Patel with the short ball early on. Patel being very nice on 20. Had to depart, sadly. Lamb comes in for his last of the over. Just hit him on a pad. <laughs> Lovely over that, maiden over for Lamb. 39 for two still. 46 overs to come. Run rate's currently just below five and they need just above four. Like to continue the wicket taker, taking a couple already. Wouldn't mind taking another. Aravinthan stepping up to face his first ball. Two slipped gully and a backward point. Pulls away from that delivery, dead ball. Very nice from Pike. Excellent delivery from Pike, just making Aravinthan poke at it. Just misses the edge of the bat. It's a proper delivery. Very aggressive field. Lovely bowling from Parkin, making him play. Tenting early on. To score. Just pushing that one down the leg side, no wide though. Almost, almost found a tickle there. Good take from Cooper at keeper. Just pierces that gap. Sibley's calling for two here. Edges it through backward point and just the single. Good running there. The intent. Just found it through gully and backward point. Pike is looking very promising. He's already got out uh, Kieran Powell and now he's looking to get out Sibbers and Aravind. Last ball of the ninth over. It's been a very good start from him, would it? Very, very competitive game, this.
Sibley caught between two mines there, looked to play and then just left it alone later on. Very good bowling from Pike, great right over, he's looking dangerous. So is Lamb. Lamb about to bowl his fifth over. Very conservative at the moment. Only nine runs from his four. Once again, Lamb, very economical. Last ball of his over, none from it so far. They missed there, that's a very, very nice ball from Lamb to end the over. Lovely stop from Tom Cooper behind the stumps as well. Maiden, two on the bounce man. Pike to continue to say, I believe look very much in control in these first. Uh, in, the, in, the, in his first few overs of his innings. He hasn't really put a foot wrong, to be honest. That's a lovely there shot for the covers. Putting out, just going to get two. Not going to reach the boundary up the hill. It's, it's tough, it's, it is tough up the hill. A four does require a very, very hard hit shot to get, to get up that hill. Bit of a slope here.
bola coba Slashed at that and put oh, he's down. Put down at gully. Put down at gully. Would have come quickly. Tough catch. Important oh, catch though. He thought he had him. That's a big opportunity to really put the foot down. They'll run through for a single though. It'll take one. That would have been very huge. But Pike, he is bowling very well today. Yeah. Nearly had, much. nearly had two internationals out very in the same spell. Very that would have been tempting. something. Put down. Would have been a very good catch. First mistake Sibley's made, and nearly cost him, to be fair. Go Vinton, faces up. That comes in. Appeal for a tickle, but Grandpa doesn't budge. Good take from Cooper. Mike with a very nice figure of two for 30. Last ball of his sixth over here. Shorter there, no run. Three from the over, very good over. A chance of getting Sibley. And Nam will continue from the pavilion end. And we have gone 11. When's drink, 16 or 12? 16. 16. Actually, it might be, it might be 12. Let's see. Slips in for Lamb. Two maidens on the bounce. Very economical going for 1.8 and over. Five overs, two maidens, and nine runs. So it might be T at 4.30. Serves a wicket, this Lamb. He's been bowling yeah, very well. Very consistent. Well dug out by Sibley. Lovely place to Yorker. 188 to win. 42.3. Five overs remaining. As we're approaching tea time, a wicket would be very handy for Wimbledon going into tea. See these Wimbledon bowlers having by the scruff of the neck at the moment. They can't really seem to get a big release shot. It's in the balance. Yeah. Down leg side. Simply wants to push for two. Flick from Sibley. Moves to nine. Thought he was out for a second Lamb. there. Bump ball, but good take from Lamb. No run. Slippy going to have to dig in here. Nine off 26. Going to have to remain at the crease. And coming off a wide run up. Side is Sibley. Flicks it away to deep square for one. Yeah. Three from this over. Aravinton 
to face one of 13. Hasn't faced a lot recently, been in for a while. Slightly fill it hit back. A slip from Lamb but no run, end of the over. Just the three from it. I should 46 for two. And Dom Sibley, Dom Sibley will face. Doesn't look like it's drinks. No. Assuming drinks are 16. James, how do you see the first 12 over so far? How do you call it? Fairly even, fairly even. I've just uh, actually noticed Kieran Powers wearing his West Indies whites. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Again, the two slips in the gully, looking to be very aggressive with pipe bowling. And then steamed in quick ball. Had a School. Ireland all out but have a lead of 10 runs. <laughs> so, Duckett and Crawley to come. Actually, chase that down quickly. Well, then, through the slips, soft hands, drop them through the cordon for four. Ireland did pretty well to get a lead, actually. Yeah, they were, they were what? You got 350 three on I think. Yeah, good score. Clearly 362. Pitch, With a retired hurt as well, so he didn't actually get all that. Who was retired at? McCollum, the opener. What did he get? 12. Yeah. Retired hurt. No ball called from the umpire, very nice ball though. He is looking dangerous. Six from the over, four to come. That's the, we passed the 50 run mark. Just got a notification. Jams it down the wicket there. Patted back from Aravinton. There we go. One well, mate required 4.3. They're going at 4.16 at the moment. Pretty level. Eight wickets in hand. Some good depth in batting. Another good ball. Pike has been bowling very well. He's really been looking for that outside edge. Just squared him up there. You do feel like it's coming, don't you? There's a third. Yeah. In the seventh over, two to come. <laughs> Patel, and they're just changing the field here. Three slips now, a gully and a point. Patel moves to point. Short extra cover in. No one out on the leg side apart from the wide-ish mid-on. Three. Yeah, three slips, gully, back of point. Short extra cover. Very attacking. This last ball before deep. Sorry, second last ball. Was. Corvin then leaves. And leaves well. That's a 
Great shot, Good but shot. an even better well, stop. Well, field and cover. quick single, yeah. Good running. Three for a single. T or one more? Yeah. Looks like one more. Maybe there is no team. There is team. I think. Now, uh, Vinton, first sign of aggression that we've seen from him. Very little shot, very little stop. Change of bowling. Billy Sill to come on. Promising at the crease. Lamb bowled very well. Must need a rest. I think seven overs. So to take us in. Two slips, gully, backward point. Mid on, mid off, cover. And short mid wicket, fine leg of the field. Slashed and gone over. Backward point for four. Short ball to start. I missed his length. That's a lot better. Turn to him down that off stump region. Good leave. And then run. That, you feel like that's the length that Sil will want to bowl. Throughout the remainder of a spell. 40 and a half overs to go. Recovery from Sil here. That's a proper shot, <laughs> pure timing. Up and over cover. Now we'll race away to the boundary for four. I went to mid 14 of 25. That's a proper shot. And a no ball, I believe. No ball. I believe it's been called. So, doesn't want to go short to him. It looks like he loves, loves it short. Get it full, make him play. Got the two slips in and dish gully. Yeah. He comes in, drops it short, another no ball, kills the umpire. in short, Just contemplating one for a minute. Not turned down by Sibley. Nine from the over to come. Nine from the over so far.
Well played, well picked up from second slip. One to come. The second no ball. Runs in for his last. There'll be no run. End of the over. And. Change of bowling. Forty overs to go, 169 required. Run rate of 4.22 required. Wicket here would be very handy. Is change of bowling. Pike to go off. Just trying to see who's on now. Twine the bowl. Ben Twine on for Pike. Pike bowling very well. I imagine he needs a rest after a very, very good spell. Very tempting. Just a couple of wickets. Could have been three. Could have had Sibley. Twine will come on. This ball just drips it down that leg side. No run. Sibley leaves it alone. Seems to have squared up Sibley there. Just packs it down to Ryan Patel. That's short extra for no run. Hits him on the pad, they'll trickle down to the fine leg region. Tom Keeper sets after it. Glove off. Seems as if a spin is going to come on. Keeper calls for a helmet. This will be interesting. Yeah, I think it's time for a bit of spin, to be honest. I mean, something needs to change up. 15 overs in, it sort of seems as if these two are just starting to get set. Starting to get a bit comfortable. Started well, that's why made me think. Maiden so far. <laughs> Once again, he's hit him on the pad. He's very much teasing, it's LBW, but not given. Very good start from Dwight. Turning at the top of his run up for the last ball of his first over. No, I made an over to start from time, and I believe time for a bit of spin now. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, it is time for a bit of spin. New bowler to come. And I think it is. Who is it? Early change for Silk. Did seem a bit uncomfortable in his last over. A couple of no balls. Make a good decision to change. Deep cover out. Deep square out. Slip in. Back good point. Jews. Mid on and mid off on the ring. Maybe looking to give Sibley a single hit. Look at in close. She's first ball here. Comes in left arm round, just goes short. Sibley rocks back, punches it. Too deep cover for one. There's Sibley looking very in control here. Hasn't really put much, done much wrong. It's a very nice ball, flighted up just slightly wide of off stump, left alone by Aventham. Clearly looking to go quickly through this over as he turns and runs in short again, punched to point, no run. Very well bowled by Twine. Seems to be a tiny bit uncomfortable. First signs of frustration against him. Great shot by Sibley. Through mid wicket. We'll get easy too. Fun fact about uh, Ben Twine, James, is that George Ezra actually wrote a song about him called Benjamin Twine. And that is a very fun fact. Uh, Seriously? Yeah. Oh, my word. Is that actually about him? Generally, I think so. I kind of want to listen to it. <laughs> I'm not too sure what this is. Apparently, this is about him. 
<laughs> Where'd you learn that? I, I've just been told. Bye. Are you just in. That is quite the, quite the flex. What a story. Top bowler. Shot three for the single there. Three from the over so far. Yeah, that is quite cool to have a song written by, by George Ezra. You a fan of George Ezra, Hector? Yeah, you know, I dabble. I dabble. I saw him in the summer at Paul Martin. Very impressed. Shot. Lovely shot through the covers. They'll push hard. Could be three, three here, actually. He wants, a, he wants a third. And he will get it. Good running. Great end to the over. That's six from it. Juice will... And that's tea. Finally. <laughs> that's the tea. Good start. 70 for two. 30 seconds. One needed to win. Tea or drinks, actually. They need to go 4.4 yeah. and over. Believe that's tea. Believe that's tea. Um, I might get some tea myself, Jen. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll see, see you in a bit. We'll, we'll be back shortly. I guess we're about five or six. So, what do you want now? China at last? Hey, good. Is that a walk? Oh, we need the washing up.
All right then. See, see you later. She's not happy, but she's 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 gonna come back.
tension. <laughs> it is here this time. So it's not fractured. It's
Apparently it was hysterical. If you don't like him, it's it's a real scream. So I was about to sit down for some coffee after the handle. Riga. No, they come tomorrow. They're getting a coach in the morning, so Sorrel's gone a day day early. To I'd be at, I'd be at like the right here long on order. And, and I'm like, flip, I'm gonna throw it over, I'm gonna throw it over. I'm yeah, I'd back it back no round, but that's assuming you like always oh, turn. I'm gonna walk past where do we go? All the
want to show you. Let me visualise it. Let me come with you. And Sibley and Aravintham back out in the middle. Wimbledon players just finished their huddle, led by Boyle the skipper, walking out to take their positions for a very, very interesting final session. It's in the balance at the moment, I'd say. 10 past 5, 161 to win, 37 overs remaining. Run rate manageable. Depends on wickets, I, I think. Change of bowling again, Jews off for Ryan Patel. He's going to bowl from the pavilion there now. It'll be interesting to see how he goes against his Surrey colleague, Sibley. Patel at the top of his mark, two slips in, backward point. Bowl to kick off the session. It's a good ball to start. Left outside off, through to the keeper for no run. say is in control at the moment, heck. I was just talking about that, James. Um, and I was saying, very much in the balance. I think Ashton very much in control of the run rate. They have looked pretty pretty standard. Sibley especially looks quite comfortable here. It's going to be interesting to see if Patel can get a breakthrough, but again, wickets. We've seen, we saw in the first innings, that it can definitely change. Great shot there by Aravinton. Just smashed it between cover and point. And that's raced away for four. Would you say it's nearly time to start putting maybe some fielders on the boundary just to stop the boundaries flowing? Because they can, all of a sudden, they'll be on 120 for two and then the game is nearly done and dusted. Um, I think, we, we, as I said, wickets are key. So I would say it's nice to have an aggressive field. You can have a couple out, but also... If you have too many out, it becomes very easy, especially for a man of siblings. Yeah, I mean, just said that they have now put someone a deep extra cover. So. 
a man of Sibley stature to, to knock singles around. Um, so two men out so far, deep backward square and deep cover as James said. Um, it'll be interesting. Still, still the two slips. I think that's wise, especially the way Patel, Patel bowls. Wicket is needed as he runs in. And a solid defence. And that will end the over with a dot ball four from it. Assuming Twine. Twine will keep on bowling. He started well. As, as you can see on the worm here. I stood above, above the run rate. Looking good so far. Sibley with 15 off 37. Arinth in 21 off 43. Nice partnership there. Let's find out how much the partnership was. They've been together for just over an hour, hour now. Partnership of 35. Very much <coughs> driven by Arinth It's like a leg stump guard that he's taking here. You can see if he can free up that offside. Twine's been bowling well so far. See if he can produce a breakthrough here. Would be nice. And he comes left through that channel again. He's hit that channel very nicely. You feel it's only a matter of time until he wants to poke at one. Brings the slips into play. In defended. Twine's been bowling well. Two and a half overs, one maiden, seven runs, no wickets yet. It seems only a matter of time. So hopefully he can produce a breakthrough. Good hands. Good That's a touch full and driven very well. Mid-off gets round, just a single, but good shot. Good release of pressure, taking the, taking the strike rate right over. Sibley will face up for the last couple. James, you've seen the spinner. The spinner's only bowled one over, Jews only, only bowled one over, and then replaced from Patel. Are you expecting to see a lot more of him today? Um, I, I'm not... I, I think the idea for the spinner was just, you know, a couple overs before T. And then I'm not surprised they've gone back to the quicks, but yeah, I'm sure he'll come into play soon when it gets later on in the day and it starts to turn a bit more and you need to rattle through some overs just to put some pressure on the batsman. That's when I think it will become quite key. Holmes was key for Ashton in the first innings. Bowled, I think it was around 25, 26 overs, kept it very economical, took a few wickets. So I wouldn't be surprised if Jews has to tie up an end. Last ball of the over. Twine comes in. Wrap Sibley on the hand there, seems a bit of discomfort for him. But good over nonetheless, two from it. Patel will go again. Had a good first over actually, Patel. Looks like he can move it a bit on this grassy wicket. Doesn't bowl a lot for Surrey, more, more of a batsman for Surrey, so it's nice to see him bowling today. 76 for two, 155 to win. Sun emerges through the clouds, bit of a breeze. Good start from Patel. Puts on the stumps, patted back from Aravintham. Bit of a crowd out today, James. A lot of people coming to watch. Balcony full, sideline full. 
the four at risk now. I wonder how the uh, other Wimbledon teams are doing. Do we have any any update? Scores in, the Wimbledon men's second team. Um, declared after 50 overs, 234 for eight. Um, pretty consistent. Baldwin with a 41 not out. Adam Chislett with 48 or 45. He looked good. A couple of sixes for him. Pretty consistent. Now Ashton in reply, 103 for three after 25. So at the halfway point, Wimbledon look in pole position. The third's playing Sunbury today. Turns. Finds it through the gate. Player missed there. Yeah, the third to be Sunbury. Um, have them in a nice position. I imagine it's quite a green wicket. They got all out for 127. But in reply, have Sunbury at 75 for seven. Um, which is very handy. Three wickets, uh, four wickets, sorry, to Banfield. Good day out for him. Little runs to talk about, has to be said. Run you through the score so far as Patel comes in for his last of the over. Dot ball maiden over for him. Get over just to run you through score. So 76 for two. Powell made a lovely looking 14 off 11. One four and one, as we said, ginormous six. He then got an LBW against Pike. Geddes, the skipper, 16 off 20. Once again, looked very good. Then played on off Pike again. Sibley. Pretty comfortable, pretty settled. 16 off 40. We'll look to score a bit quicker later on. And Harry Aravintham, 22 off 51 with four fours. So Pike comes on to, uh, Twine comes on to bowl, sorry. And Sibley goes aerial, shouts for catch it. And no. Jog through for two. Yeah, as you just said, Hector, I think Sibley will be trying to be a bit more positive now. Just keep the run rate ticking. You don't want to have to be in a rush when when the overs come. They need around another 150 odd. So they're not not quite there yet. Still have a way to go. And there's not how many how many overs left? Around four, 35. Yeah, 33 overs left. So 150 of 33. Dollar from Sibley. Their run rate just slipping below four now into 3.8. Required run rate of 4.5. So not, nothing drastic. Just keep the runs ticking, keep rotating the strike. They say when we're in the need of wickets here and hopefully Twine can, can provide. First sign of aggression we've seen from Sibley there. Stepping down the wicket, looking to attack Twine. Hit on the pads so over no run. Mid wicket going out deep, square deep. Looks like it could be a short ball ploy coming. Long going a touch wider. Two out on the leg side.
So Lee will jog back for two there. Be comfortable two. One to come, four from the over so far. Soft way, so feel the chase it. Just don't get a hand over this. Doesn't get a knock. Stop going. So yeah, big rush home. There it is. Short speaking up to me. Yeah. Just a high way. It's just it's still a punch it. Oh, 45. Probably should come. Very tight. I think push it back. Well, Bo from Patel seems to be hitting a pretty consistent line here. Just through that off stump channel, trying to make a Vintham play here. 84 for two. Just missing his line a fraction, but not a bit away. Top ball. Good bowling, very consistent from Patel. He seems to be getting the right area. Batsman doesn't really know whether to play, push it, push it down. The third man will just leave it. Alone there once again, putting it for him second consecutive. Enters the two maidens full runs. Can we just play 1.5? Trying to carry on it, but you can see on this run rate, definite decrease in powers left. Spiked early on, but Sibley and Aventum going very well here, has to be said. Steadying the ship. Again, Twine finding a bit of bu bit of bounce here. Yeah, uh, there is a bit of bounce on this wicket, James. Do you think they'll look to exploit that? Well, I think they have been, to be honest. They've been rolling quite a good length, just obviously sometimes they get a little bit wrong, and then Sibley's good enough to punish them. <laughs> Struck on the pad, appeal for LBW. Not given, that's a very good from Twine. Seems to have had Sibley all over the shop at the moment. Very nice bowling, very tempting. Looks like he could be looking at a wicket soon. Once again, they're pushing 
sort of in between deep square and deep mid-wicket. Pushing them and also a deep back <coughs> square. Could be the short ball ploy, a lot of bounce here. Wider mid on as Twine comes in. A little bit full of play miss from Sibley there. A couple, to, a couple to come. 84 for two, 530. Oh, and that's just a bit about first, but once again, very tempting delivery. Closing on that LBW decision. It's good to see from Twine. Fight against very good batsman in Dom Sibley. So it could be simply scurries through for one there. Very good over from from Twine. Very very tidy. So we are scampering through. Could have been direct hit if the pickup was good. 146 to win. So yeah, you can see Sibley just trying to force it a little bit more now. And that's why I think they seem, he seems to be beating the edge and coming down the pitch a little bit more, trying to be more aggressive. Do you think that could uh, result in a wicket soon? It's a good battle. Sorry, be sorry. Um, I think as much as Sibley has played and missed on, on occasion, I think he, he does know what he's doing. I think, like with everyone, he would have taken time to get accustomed to the wicket. But he's, he's faced, what, fifth, north of 50 balls at the moment. So I, I think deep down he's feeling like he can go big. Yeah, I'm sure he can. Let's, let's see how the bowlers keep bowling. So it'll be quite interesting, interesting to see if they change anything up. Tail has been tough to hit. He's been very economical. First day went for four and then no runs since. It's tough to face, especially he gets a lot of nip off, off the slope and with the green wicket here. He's bowling well. Seems to be up for it. That's good to know. Here he comes steaming in. Sibley there looks to go big, looks to find that release shot. Just a bit up, it just meets, beats mid on, gets a hand to it though. So just the single. Sign of aggression there. Looks to play a big release shot. I prevent them facing up here. Oh, he once again puts it down that channel. I went, to, went for a little poke at it. No success.
Another good over for Patel, just the one from it, as Owen then leaves it alone. Quite a run rate climbing just below five now. It's getting ever bigger. Time to continue. That a tickle from Sibley inside edge. Oh. Put down by Keeble. That's a tough catch. Diving to his left, down that leg side. Sibley found that inside edge there. Brilliant bowling from Twine. Yeah, another big chance for Wimbledon there. So Sibley dropped again. Could be another huge moment in the match if he goes on to get a big score. Just that little inside edge. He's speaking to Arvinthan about it now. Definitely a bit of movement out there. Seems a tiny bit uncomfortable. Brilliant bowling from Twine. Would have been an absolute scream if Kibe caught it. Twine comes in defended from Aravinthan. You do feel that Twine is due a wicket, don't you, James? He's been bowling very well. Yeah, he's been bowling excellently. Economy of 3.4 after his five overs. Uh, there's no wickets quite yet. We've got a couple maidens in there as well. Once again, fielders on the leg side moving out to the boundary. Deep mid wicket, deep square as Twine Rock runs in here. Chucks it full, driven nicely to the hands of Ryan Patel. That's short extra cover for no run. The ball here. Deep cover out, deep backward square, deep wide ish mid wicket. Run rate of five, and they are currently at three and a half. So, why don't you get things moving in the near future? Not doing badly though. These two are still in, and they've been there a while, so they will be able to capitalise later on. Patel simply wants a scamper for one. Karaisov hit them. Three for one. And Patel finds the inside edge. Yen. Tampa 3 for 1. Very good bowling from Patel. Feel like a wicket's G for both these bowlers, actually.
cut away for four there by Sibley. Excellent shot. Just behind square, just guided it, sorted it down. That's an unbelievable shot from Sibley. He's now into the 30s and really getting going now. Waited beautifully for it. Timed it perfectly, raced away. And as you say, James Inti is actually looking more and more comfortable. Looks like twine to continue. Two slips in, deep backward square, cover in. Here comes Twine charging. It's a very solid drive down the ground, stopped at mid off. No run. <laughs> oh, bit of extra zip there from Twine. Couple just quite hard. We get quite a bit of. Again, back behind square, four runs. Up the hill was a brilliant shot.
Couple of boundaries this over so far. Dom Sibley with a very dominant pull shot. Yeah, Sibley really, really starting to take it back to the bowlers. Uh, and they're starting to be in a little bit of trouble. And that looks like a set of boundaries for Aravinthan. It takes him to 37, and Sibley's on 40. Choose to continue from the pavilion end. Been pretty safe so far. Oh. 
And Sibley charges down the ground, and that's a beautiful shot. Up and over extra cover for four. Yeah, he's... Yeah, six rounds, six rounds. Big, big shot. He's really turned on in the past couple of overs. It could be, could be, could be some coming our way, heck soon. We're standing at about at long off at the moment, so if that was a little straighter, that would have collided right into our... Just shorter. Left no stop David. Yeah, the intent is incredibly evident at the moment from Dom Sibley and also from Aravinthan. Once again, Sibley looks to be aggressive and this is proving to be a very nice over, a very nice couple of overs. Rash did. Just 109 repeats. Very close, sir. End of the over, seven from it. Another good over for Ashton. Look, pretty comfortable at the moment. 24 overs to come. Hundred nine to win. Four and a half an over required. New call for drinks at 10 past 6, so 15 minutes till drinks. Hopefully they can uh, squeeze in four or five overs before that. That's what they'd like to do. I think that's why they brought some spinners on, just to rattle through them. A wicket here will be huge, and it's very much needed at this point. Still requiring four and a half an over, so not the easiest task. If you get some tight bowling going. Change of bowling, Scott on to bowl his first over of the game. Spin twins, hopefully can tie up both ends into drinks. Comes in for his first ball, flights it up nicely. Clip down the leg side for a single from Sibley, he moves to 48. Haven't then gets the strike. Taking Millen off guard here. Deep square out, long on, mid off in, deep cover, and one slip is the field. And the man on the 45. Comes to Aravind, then almost tries to second him. Yeah, good first over from Scott. Pretty consistent. Getting on a good length, making the batsman play on the front foot. One could pop up any time soon. <laughs> Simply double steps down there just to pad it away for no run. That is, that is. Five or less than three of the really stuff should have gone past because they followed the divers. Now we'll obviously force them to recover a bit. Juice here. I think you can hear. Tom Sibley comes down the wicket to bring up his 50 with a single down to Long on, who's since been brought up. Well battered, Dom. Very nice controlled innings from him. Chance of a run out here. Direct hit needed. Interesting here for Sibley. They're giving him the single down to Long on and bringing Long on up into 
mid on. Uh, quite surprising that he hasn't really seemed to play any area to, uh, on the leg side. Everything seemed to come through the offside. So. Partnership of 89 here for these two. Certainly taking the sting out of Wimbledon bowling attack. Breakthrough very much needed. As Chews faces up to Sibley. Double steps down to Long on, takes another single. The score rolls over to 129 for two. Just 102 needed. As we approach six, ten minutes still drinks. Steps back, pierces it through the cover region for a single two to one thirteen of the back. Sweet for not given, not given. Must have been going down leg. Nice punch through the through the safe. So sorry for another technical delay. Unfortunately, when it was all down, we actually—well, I say we Wimbledon managed to get out, uh, get a wicket. So that now, Ashton are 135 for three with Young now in. He's on one. Uh, just hit a very nice four over the top. So you know, Sibley brought up his 50. I think that happened before, but yeah, <laughs> going quite well for Ashton at the moment. Wimbledon. Uh, drinks now, but Wimbledon are going to need to uh, put the foot on the gas and get some wickets. Yeah, so this drinks break just to run over on through it. 92 required to win. Run rate required of 4.8. Run rate at the moment is 4. Sibley seems to be kicking on 55 of 85. Definitely raced to his 50 after T. Um, and yeah, Young in just had a lovely up and over for 4, 5 off 7. A couple of spinners on at the moment. It'll be interesting to see whether they're about to see. Anyway, we'll be back with you after the drinks break. Thank you. 
So that was first ball after drinks. Nicely put away by Sibley. Just out to the deep cover, and he'll just take the single. Sibley batting helmet off now, cap on. Who is he? Up in the evening sun. Must be getting quite hot under, under there, to be honest. He's looking very good, it has to be said. As Hughes comes in. Young steps down the wicket, punches it down to long on for a single. I think that's all the that Ashstead really need to do, just keep rotating the strike. No need to give anything away, only need around five and over. So boundaries will obviously come, bad balls will be bowled. So if they just keep pushing out to long on, they'll get there. It's the other way around for Wimbledon, they need wickets and they need wickets desperately. That wicket is very handy just before drinks. Of... Oh. So just drags it down a touch, and that has been dispatched by Young. That has gone a long way up the hill, a very and long boundary down there. We said it'll be hard to get a boundary down that end, instead he's just gone up and over. Um, yeah, as you were just saying, they just hit the bad ball of the way and block it out, rotate the strike. We'll get there fairly comfortably. 83 to win now. In the driving seat, Off but 18 overs. You can't count, can't, can't, cannot count Wimbledon out. A couple little late wickets. surge, yeah. A couple of wickets is all they need. Get the seams back on. And they'll be fine. Which six do you think was bigger? Powell's or Young's just then? Uh, no doubt Powell's. That was also... Was that not... Oh, it was Powell's. Or was it was Sibley. Oh, sorry, was that... No, it was Sibley. It was. Maybe they got it wrong in the score. Yeah, I think Powell's was certainly bigger. Straight back over the bowler's head. Certainly made it look a lot easier. Yeah, he did. Pretty effortless, that. Third ball as well. Young on strike here. Jeez comes in. Lights it up, blocks it down. End of the over. Jeez is over. Just about four and a half and over. You can see the worm here, they're keeping well above Wimbledon's rate. Couple of wickets here, Scott will keep bowling. Done all right, he's asked some questions today. He's 
simply facing up on 63. Yeah, that six was to him. 63 of 89. He's hitting a long ball. And as he charges down the wicket there. Yeah, he's he's just sent him again. He oh, be a four, one bounce four. four. Looking to be very aggressive. Wants to end things early here. Yeah, it looks like seven. he's trying. Oh, looks like he wants to go for a cheeky pub sesh before seven o'clock. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> Brings up 150 as well for Aston. Just the 79 away. 18 overs to do it. And the field looks to be changing here. Cow corner out, deep backward square. Long on, deep cover. And Patel still in decently close up, extra cover. Here comes. Sibley pats that down. Sibley's just too good to put down twice early on in his innings. Had, had one of those been taken, it could be a very different scoreline. Very well worked. Steps onto the back for there, cuts it to the backward point just for the single. Walks it, walks it through. Field looks to be coming in here for Young. Good idea to build that pressure. Sibley looks pretty set. Keep. Keep the new batsman on strike for as long as possible. Comfortable single down to long on. Get over this. And then we've got below four and a half. Fine edge, and that's going to get all the way to the boundary. Fairly expensive over. Another four Ten off Sibley, that one. Who's into the seventies? So as we said, he's certainly sped up a lot now. Striking just under eighty, seventy-six. End of the over. Ashton looking comfortable. One five eight for three. Seventy-three to win now. Seventeen overs left. Slip in his G's of one hand. Young has just smashed it right over extra cover there. One bounce forward, didn't quite make it, about a metre short. Vance is down the track and Ashton seriously looking to kill this game. Shorter and it's also beat both the covers and raced away for four again. Similar position, different route. These past four overs have really changed the perspective of this game, haven't they, Hector? I think about 30 runs have come. And now it's very it's looking very easy for Ashdod. They've been scoring very quickly. And as you can hear behind us, every run they're getting here has been... Just punches it back down to long on. Gets Sibley back on strike. Boundary. More More runs. Fun fact, James, um, Ben Stokes is the first test captain in history to win a game without doing anything out of TFC. Good on him. Good on him. <laughs> <laughs> that simply comes down, takes one out to long on. Yeah, Hector, you, you have provided some fairly interesting facts today, haven't you? Yeah, I have. I'm still waiting on you to provide some facts. Well, that can be your department. What, what was that one about George Ezra? Um, 
Benjamin Twine actually had a song written by, uh, <laughs> by George Ezra called Benjamin Twine. Very interesting. I can't say I've ever heard the song. Oh, you know. <laughs> I've played a bit of the tea break. Couldn't say I'm a fan. <laughs> That's Jews, last ball of the over. Good way to finish. Comes down and blocked, yeah. And as James said, that is a good way to finish the over. Sibley, helmet back on. That indicates a change of bowling. Tom Cooper, the keeper, taking the helmet off. It'll be a seamer. Yep, speaking of the devil, Benjamin Twine back, back into the attack. He has looked very, very promising in his first spell. It'll be interesting to see how he bowls against a much more set Sibley. It's fair to say when he was bowling, Sibley was very new to the crease, slightly struggling, had a couple of drops against him. This is going to be a very, very, very important battle. Do you think Jews keeps on bowling or do you play two seamers? Seems like they're pretty comfortable against the spinners. I think you have to change something, otherwise they're just going to race in, in the next five or six overs. Because they're going at about ten and over for the past couple, so something's got to give. Something has got to give. Oh. Sure you can hear that. Right, that is glorious. Tom Sibley, Sibley. Over cover. He's in for a big one, up and over, over cover. And really wants to get this done quickly. Fair to say his eyes in. And that will race to the boundary for four. He moves to 77 off 96. Looking at a big total. Should see, see, loving every, every shot he hits. Fair enough, burning beautifully. Twine steams in. Jeez. Bowls into the rib cage. Looking to scamper one. Declined by Young at the non striker's end. Now just under 60, 59 to win. A couple of wickets, you never know, James. You never know. Very positive, Hector. So I think you should be with this bowling attack. Every chance. Twine getting on a roll here. And again. So it just hits up. it over uh, between mid wicket and mid on. Just going to get the two though. Good fielding. Yeah, I have to say, slight feeling of deflation at the moment. Plenty of cricket left in this game. Possible 15 and a half overs left. That's to find terms at the top of mark. That is an absolute seed. He squared him up through the keeper. Twine has been unlucky. He's bowled a lot of balls like balls like that today, an inch closer to that. And he's nicked off. Last couple. That's a very good lead from Sibley. Very good bowling from Tony, he's definitely got something in his stride. That is just properly good from Sibley. Straight past the bowler, running away for four. That's 10 off the over again. Moves to 83 off just 101. Certainly sped up at a strike rate of around 20 earlier. Let's bump that up to 82. And as we said, he, he means business. He has to go. Mm. Function of 46 so far. Simply contributing to 30 off 18. Young 16 off 15. So as he said, James, they've been going at I think eight and over. This partnership.
is to continue. Melanie's James, there's an absolute scorcher of a game going on in the Wimbledon men's third 11, as I said. 127 all out, Sunbury. 112 for eight in reply. They can find that couple of wickets, 15 runs or two wickets needed to win. Very, very interesting. Banfield with four, Weston with two, Tail with one, Cooper with one. It's going to be a very tight game. into the offside, running hard, could be four, pick up two, Young moves to 18 off 16, score with intent. Clearly looking to drop and run it here. Right. For one reason or another. Dab it. Once again, playing it with soft hands, hits the pad. No run. Get over it and Scott it. over here from Scott, goes back and Young almost got to by the 45, up here shouts for catch but he'll race away to the boundary for another four, Young to 22, James that, that was close to being a wicket there, almost a catch. Yeah just, just past the fielder so quite unlucky. Just the 47 required now. Twine can produce something. Had a very good first over of his spell last over Jen. Do you reckon he can produce something here? Uh, he'll do well to. Sibley's in some flying form. And he's connecting with pretty much everything that isn't a perfect ball. So. Played and missed it a couple of twines though last over. Yeah, that's true, that's true. As we said, the 50 partnership came up with that fall from Young at the end of last over. It's been a very quick 50 partnership. They've only been together for 26 minutes. So they have raced to 50. Just glanced down to third man. Sibley facing up on 84 here. It's just a 16 away. Final glances. 
And he's just stepped down the yeah. track there and he's absolutely smashed that over mid off. That'll race away yet again. Another four to his name. He moves to 88, James. Yeah, it's not looking good for Wimbledon. They're going to need a fair few wickets, heck. So, well, I mean, I feel like it's got to the point now where they should probably start searching rather than just waiting for it to happen, don't you think? You need to be more, a bit more proactive. How, how would you be more proactive, James? I don't know, maybe. The, oh, it's, it's tough to say. I mean, it's hard when, some, when an international batsman is batting like this. Left from Sibley. I think they just got to focus on lines and lengths and maybe maybe take a risk and be a bit more aggressive in the field. Do you chuck a few slips in for when Twine's bowling? He is, he, he's tempting in that. I think you have to. There's been a couple edges that have gone down to third minute. <laughs> Gets one to stay low, so he just... Pats that down through to Don Cooper, end of the over. Ash did 190 for three, Sibley 88, Young 23. Young 23 of 22, good over from Twine. He, he certainly is tempting, it'll be interesting. Let's see what they do now, I think Scott will stay on. Got to stay on. I think it's a clever call from Wimbledon, if I'm honest. Got a nice field. Maybe get a stumping as we saw last time. Closer, gonna fight it up here. Just down that leg's side. Pick up a couple buys here. Yeah, it looks like they have put a little bit of a more aggressive field to the spin. I think it's needed. advances down the track. Just getting round, they'll pick up another two. Sibley moves into 90. It's the 36 to win that. Oh, yeah, good good shot. So it's gone for four again. Sibley will pick it up and send it on. Another expensive over. Takes him to 94. 94. One hit away. It's possible. Another sweep from Sibley. That's also gone for four. Scott flighting this one out. out. It's brave, it's brave <coughs> bowling from Scott, Fli keeping it flighty. Not trying to drag it down into the pitch, flighted it up. And steps down on one knee, sweeps it away. Another four to his name. He's up, he moves to 98, two away now. 28 away from the victory, 12 overs to go. Well, that's cute. That's a great way to. Dumb Sibley play. That's a great way to get to your top. Just 110 balls. 
And he raises his bat to the Ashstead Pavilion. And that's a very, very handy knock from him. Some might say a match winning knock. Very good, 100. James, what's, what's been your highlight shot? <laughs> Probably that one. That was, that was quite a cool way to get to the 100. Premeditated. <laughs> I, I think that was premeditated. Right, 10 on the lease. That's yes. the end of the over as well. Tyne will keep on going. He'll keep chugging away. He's been bowling very well. Nine overs, one maiden. 40 runs. Economy of 4.4. He's been seriously unlucky not to take a wicket. He's been bowling very well, as have the rest of the bowlers. They've just come up against some very class batting here. Simply on his turn, but he's brutal. Oh, there we go. Then comes Swine. Play a miss from Young. Punch him now. 75 off just the 52. We've only been at it for 34 minutes. Chance it. Got a couple of good partnerships. 93 partnership with. Harry Arab and nothing. Brian comes down. Played convincingly out into the covers just for the single. Simple on strike, young move to 26. 27, sorry. Looks to go up and over again. Slashes where that one misses. It goes through to Cooper behind the stumps. Well, <laughs> Romney, bang on two now. Comes in. Oh. Simply just steps onto his off stump and smashes that for a one bounce ball. That's a proper shot, James. Yeah, 19 to win now. It's looking bleak for Wimbledon unless they perform one of the most miraculous comebacks ever. So that, that's, that's an unbelievable shot. 212 for three, just picked that one up beautifully. Pure timing. Just goes to show if you, if you drop a good batsman, they go punish you, isn't that right? What runs he dropped on? 20 odd? 50? Oh, big drive, edged over to third man. They'll just get the single there. Charging down again, some clear and turn from Sibley. Like, just practising, just shadow batting. He's up and over, extra cover here. Class not from him today. So is Young, Young is batted. I know he's only on 27, but he is batted very nicely. Oh, I should move up to 81, or just to 56. Pushed. Great shot from Young. Two runs there to the third man. He moves to 29, end of the over. Another big over. 16 to win. You reckon Sibley's thinking, could, could be done this over? I think I think I want to finish it this over. This is when the door opens for women. <laughs> they want to go aggressive.
and Sibley smacks that straight over the bowler's head. That nearly hit us, actually. <laughs> Tried to go for it, got stuck in the wires. Almost pulled off an absolute blinder. That was an absolutely incredible shot from Dom Sibley. I thought a crowd catch was on there. Down the ground. I'm going to be got standing stuck. up waiting for it. I got stuck. <laughs> yeah. That is a lovely shot. Moves to 113, of just the 115. Just a tender win now. Jews, shops in short and flat and blocked back the ball with no routes. No fire! No And as you can hear, another absolutely crunch. Six again. Full on a mission here. This has been destructive in the last 10 to 15 overs. This partnership reaching 95 off 61. to win here. Jeez, with the wicket. Sibley goes in for the reverse there. And he'll pick up a single. Down the deep extra cover comes round, picks up a single. Very eventful. Just the three to win now. And Young. Charges down and oh, he's been called. He's called it. Silly mid off. He called Charles, it. Silly Charles mid off. Wimbledon. <laughs> and that. That brings the end of the over. Slightly mid off. End of the over. Nice work, it. Just absolutely called it. Good take. Very, very good take. Just the three to win now. Just three to win. Ten overs remaining. Another wicket for Jews, that's his second. Young has to go for a very well made 29 off 28. Combining in a 96 partnership with Dom Sibley off just the 63 balls. Very nice innings from him, has to be said. A nice wicket for Jews to take. Very convincing knock. Just the three, it seems as if Scott will come on. From the other end, no more twine. He's just going to take a take a breather. Sibley on strike, three to win. Very very nice knock from Young there. Fortunate to lose the wicket, but nice, nice work. Comes. Dom Sibley advances down and once again up and over extra cover and that's four and that is the game. In the end, rather convincing from Master, 232 for four. Dom Sibley 124 for 119. With a lovely made 29. Arvinthin, lovely 41 as well and a very key 93 partnership which really steadied the ship after Wimbledon made a good start. Two wickets in the first few overs. After the partnership with Harry Aravinthan and Dom Sibley, very much steady the ship for Ashton, and they'll go home with maximum points. Looking at the scorecard here, Powell and Geddes both gone in the teens. Pike opened up, bowled very well, has to be said. Could have got a few more wickets, a couple dropped in there. And then Aravinthan and Sibley took it away from there. 93 partnership until stumping, very nice stumping from Tom Cooper off the bowling of Jews. Saw him depart for 41, and then from then it was just the Sibley and, Sibley and the Young show in a very yeah. quick 96 <laughs> partnership of 63. Finished off by Sibley just then. Anyway, Wimbledon, I'm sure, will come again. Anyway, that's Tough the game. Out. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. Well, I'll see you next week. Thank you very much.